But Abby teaches dance well, and she has produced outstanding dancers. And I knew that if Nia had that opportunity and attention, she too could be a great dancer. Looking at that clip now, I'm like, I broke down over that. Oh my goodness, that was a light day. Yeah. <laughs> That's just like the first five minutes of Pyramid. That's nothing. Mm -hmm. This week, we are starting on the road. We have a long road before we get to nationals. Here we are at Star Power in Orlando. It's like their toughest competition. These people do not mess around. So glad to be at a dance studio. You have no idea. Girls, let's go. Come on. All right, where's Kathy? Where's Vivian? Don't know. The first thing I noticed, no Kathy, no Vivian. No show. Right now, I am at the end of my rope with Kathy. It doesn't surprise me at all that Kathy's not here for assignments. You know, she picks and chooses what she wants to come to. Mackenzie, now you and Vivian are supposed to have a duet, but no Vivi. Mm. So you might be doing summer by yourself. Chloe, you're going to take a week off. I'm not going to do a new solo for you. I think you need to work on your technique. I would have been OK if Miss Abby would have picked another week for me to work on technical stuff. But I don't think it was really that fair, because I was the only one. And this was like kind of a big week. I was happy with fourth place. Your mother was not. And I don't think you were either. I'm shocked that Chloe's on the bottom. I thought Chloe was fabulous. Abby needs to remember that if she has a problem with me, she needs to take it up with me and not punish my nine year old. Mia? After Nia performed Laquifa in Connecticut, I am not surprised at all that she's in the bottom row. Actually, I think it's a good thing that the judges did not find Laquifa to be exceptional. I think kudos to them. I was happy with you. Your mother is not happy with the choreography, so we're going to work on that. Mom, I don't want any more altercations like Connecticut. What's a conversation? I don't want any more conversations like Connecticut. An altercation, I think of it as being something that's really threatening. And my conversation, just calling her on issues of accountability, is not anything of an altercation. It's a conversation. Maddie, you won. It was great. Costume was gorgeous. Everything clicked. I just don't want to see tears. You're at the top of the age scale. You did a beautiful job. You did the title. This is your year. Maddie has been on this winning streak, and she just wins everywhere we go. So hopefully, she can repeat her performance from Connecticut and win another title here. Let's talk about the group number for this week's competition. The number is called Snapshot. You're all models. So who's modeled before? You've all modeled. Perfect. So now, you know what the runway is. What else is at a fashion show? A photographer. I've had a lot to think about over the last 24 hours. And I think we need to bring a boy in to be the photographer. What do you think? Brooke. Yes. I have a surprise for all of you. A big surprise. Here's our photographer. Brandon and I used to like each other a couple of years ago, but it never really went anywhere. Is he here? Brandon! Oh. Diane! I brought Brandon in because he's a good looking guy. He's very masculine on stage, which all of my boys are. I pride myself on that. And he's getting to the point where he's old enough and strong enough to do overhead lifts. Hi, Diane. Come stand in the line. My name is Diane. Brandon has been one of Abby's best dancers for years. Abby told me she needed a boy to spice up one of her numbers, and that's why we're here. Brandon and Brooke got paired up as duet partners. They used to do great together, and then they started liking each other and dating. Once they started dating, they lost that connection in their dancing, because I think they were like embarrassed of each other. Brooke, Brandon, you used to have a duet? <laughs> <laughs> Well, guess what? You're going to be doing some partner work. Brandon, you're not used to this pace that we've been on. You have four days to pull this number together. It's not about laying in the sun. It's not about riding a ride. It's about the dancing. Everybody, five minutes to warm up and then choreography. Let's go. <laughs> Chin up, Kyle, when you face on stage. 
Welcome to our world. And home, home away from home. Oh, God. I, I cannot believe we're in Orlando and I'm sitting in a I know. studio. <laughs> I'd rather her do a Tom LaFleck for Angete instead of the trick. Snapshot is our group number. It's about models and a photographer, and the relationship grows from there. I felt that the chemistry between Brooke and Brandon would be good. I think they used to have a little fling at the studio. All right, Holly. It wasn't an altercation. It was a conversation. Oh, you're too funny. <laughs> what is that? I'm just so tired. <laughs> something more dramatic than what it is. It was a conversation. I'm not a person that oh has God. altercations oh, with wait, people. Reporting foot's turned in, Nia. Stay on that outside, Brooke. Chloe, when you arch back, square your shoulders off even. And then she's making Chloe feel bad, like, oh, no solo for you this week. We have to work on your technique. I, I was happy with fourth place, but your mother wasn't. I know. I never said that. Mm -hmm. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I'm sitting around with these moms, and I'm thinking, what the hell did I get myself into? The surest way that you will be at the bottom of the pyramid is if you speak up for anything yeah. about your child, yeah. you like, will go to the bottom. Somebody deserve to be at the bottom of the pyramid. No. Not at all. In Dead, a line. straight in a line. ahead. In a line. That was nothing. That was silly. Paul said, get that leg up. Sloppy arms. You two aren't even looking at each other. Come on. I wonder if she's a better connect. Brooke and Brandon are acting really weird during the group number, doing their partnering. I think, personally, that they both still like each other. That's why they're acting that way. Brandon, when I say the word, I want chemistry between you. What, is, what does that mean? I mean, you have to have, like, emotion between each other and just the passion that you feel something. Right. Like, this girl makes your heart stop. Yes. What does it mean to you? Same thing. <laughs> She's talking about Brandon and Brooke having the chemistry. I don't know if you want that much chemistry. <laughs> no. And how are we going to get that in four days? You're getting older. You need to step up to the plate and bring the performance. She said you're getting older. Step up to the plate. Well, 13 isn't old enough to have her stuff to do. That kind of chemistry. Now do the arch back. And look back at him and slide slowly down. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> I think some of the moves in Snapshot were a little risque. I mean, I felt like I was watching Dirty Dancing. Both of you need to use your stomachs and engage. Go. Watching Brooke and Brandon in rehearsal is like waiting for pace to get sticky. Shut it out. There's nothing happening. Nothing. Kelly, Diane, come down here for a minute. I need to talk to you. Ha uh ha. -huh. You guys take five. Brooke, Brandon, come on over here. We're coming. We have to walk there. Brooke, you, and Brandon are carrying this number. So I need chemistry. I need something. And if you two wouldn't mind, I'm going to send them on a date. Oh! oh. <laughs> but you two need to butt out of it. Don't get a table for four. Get a table for two and another table for two. You let them do their own thing. Brandon and I never even really dated. We just liked each other and hung out all the time. I've never even really been on a real date before. Holly, come on down. I told you I wanted you to come in on the private. Here I am. Come on in, have a seat right here. After I requested that dance to be put into the routine, Abby made it very clear that I had to be a part of that rehearsal. Do it again. Suit new. Don't, don't rush. Leah, use your stomach. Do you see how she bobbles all over the place? She doesn't engage her abdominals. I made Holly come in and watch the rehearsal because she does not have a clue that that kid cannot correct herself. Got it? You're on, kid. Face. Elbows lifted. I love it when Nia has an opportunity to demonstrate her talents individually. I'm not sure, however, that I would have picked another ethnic dance for Nia. This leg has to be over your head. Stretch this foot. Ooh, stretch it. I think Abby's definitely making a statement. I think she's setting Nia up for failure, to be quite honest, because I asked for it, I demanded it. Go! And Abby's going to give it back to me tenfold by putting Nia in a situation where she is almost at the impossible level of being able to pull off a dance of that magnitude. No? Is that hard? Yeah. Hmm. I just don't understand with parents 
why these moms don't get that I want everyone to win. It's been two days since anyone's heard from Kathy. In all my years of teaching dance, I have never had a dancer not show up. Hello, Kathy, this is Abby. Do you think you could come to my room? Is this my last rites before execution? Yes. I've had it. If you don't want to be part of the team, don't be part of the team. That's ridiculous, Abby, because no, stuff it's not. happens. You flew all the way here, and I'm pulling that to out. End of story. We're going to work on interviews and modeling today. What would you give her right there? What do you think about Abby sending us here? Can we talk about something else? If you don't want to be part of the team, don't be part of the team. You flew all the way here, and I'm pulling that to X. End of story. That's ridiculous, Abby, because no, stuff it's not. happens. I have a lot going on back home. I was preparing my students for a competition that they're going to, and at that particular moment, they were my top priority. Every so you're going to hurt Mackenzie then? You're hurting Mackenzie. You're... I didn't hurt Mackenzie. I was there. I had music. I had costumes. I was prepared. But you're making. You didn't show up. But you're making the ultimate decision. I have to set an example for the rest of the team. If it's okay for you not to show up to the meeting, then it's okay for everybody not to show up for the meeting. Abby is not happy with me, and she wants to set an example of me. She wants to make sure that the other moms are seeing what happens if you defy the great Abby. Well, it's a big mistake. You're not a team player. Well, then I'm not a team player. Abby told Brooke and Brandon that they had to go and make a connection. So Diane and I took Brandon and Brooke to the fun spot. I haven't seen Brandon in a while, and now we're on a date, and it's really weird. <laughs> oh, did you ride that? Oh, I ride that? Yeah. All right, then. How about we meet you in an hour? I think Brandon wanted to spend some time alone, so he told our parents to go. Is that fun? Yeah. Well, that means I can drive you around when I get my license, right? I won't try to crash like I did in that. I'll die. <laughs> So I can't believe you're here. I know. I'm so excited. I know. I missed you. It's been weird. It's just dance. dance. That's all I've had. It's dance. Oh, yeah, yeah, but if you're at the dance studio, you're with you're with Christy. If you're going somewhere, you're with Christy. Kelly has been my best friend for a long time, and it's been difficult because she's hanging out with Abby and these crazy dance moms all the time. So I don't see her very often anymore. I'm home every day. You know what, Kelly? I call. You don't answer. You know, it's just easier for me to stay away from there. I just stay away. You know, Chloe is in Paige's age category, so, like, our class is always at the same time, and... Yeah. What do you think about Abby sending us here? She's weird. You can understand where she's coming from, though, right? No. If Brandon thinks anything's going to happen between us on this date, he's crazy. All she wants us to do is just have, like she was saying, chemistry and whatever. I think Brooke's excited that Brandon's here. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully they can connect doing their duet. Oh, my god. I still think they like each other. Miss Abby told me and Brooke that we have to go and build chemistry, but hey, we're doing the best we can. So what do you think happened? I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Like, look how high that roller coaster is. See, look, 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 look. Uh, uh. I think Brandon likes me, but I've moved on. I'm not really the same person I was when I was nine years old. Let's go ride a ride or find our moms, whatever. Go find our mamas. This week, my solo is Universe. 
Each week I compete, it gives me another chance to win another title. Sometimes I feel a little pressure, but I'm a perfectionist. My mom always tells me that, and she said I keep trying until I win, and that's what I've been doing for a long time. <laughs> My dream is to continue dancing forever. I want to be a professional dancer on Broadway. There's nothing else I ever do except for dance. When we're on the road away from Abby's studio, we have to rehearse any time in any place. Holly, are you working again? Well, actually, I'm not doing work work. I'm trying to help Mia. And I'm writing things down on this notebook. My official <laughs> notebook of Abby's corrections. Your dance and notebook? My dance notebook. When I signed up for dance, I expected a dance teacher to do this. But since a dance teacher is not doing it, I have to step in and I have to give her whatever I can give as an educator to help her. I'm so out of my element. This is not what I'm used to doing. So my suit to new plie is written down here <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> it's like you're speaking Chinese over there. Legs should be together. <laughs> this week, I'm not Dr. Holly. I'm not Principal Holly. I'm Dance Mom Holly. You're in Holly's boot camp. You're funny, Holly. <laughs> We're here at Star Power in sunny, muggy, hot Orlando, and they have a pageant. Every one of you have been registered. We don't know who's gonna qualify. So right now, we're all gonna rehearse as if you made it, and then whoever makes it will be ready. Brooke, stand up. Go ahead up stage. Look at her walk, look at her walk. I'm gonna show her. Turn. Touch that end judge. <laughs> Abby doesn't look like a model to me. Mackenzie, tell me your favorite acrobatic trick. Look down. Nia, tell us the heritage of your name. May I please ask you what that word means? I don't think any of my students are great at the whole pageant thing. We spend so much time on technique that I never really get a lot of time to do the interview skills. If you get up on stage and you freeze or you stutter, you're going to look like an idiot in front of all those people. The most important thing is that you do not panic. Pull your thoughts together, take a deep breath, and answer the question. Does everyone understand? We are adjourned. Go find your mothers and start working on this interview. I've been trying to get a hold of Kathy for two days now. I really want to know where she and Vivi are. Hello. So what's been going on? running your mouth to hear yourself talk. I don't care what you have to say. Okay, I have then a if comment. you don't care what I have to say, I don't care what you have then to you say. need to be quiet. No this one has tells me what you. to do, Kathy. You may as well stick your hand up her butt and be her ventriloquist. So what's been going on? So Abby pulled the duet because you didn't come to chalkboard and you weren't at rehearsals. And Mackenzie was so upset. Well, I'm sorry for Mackenzie, but I missed my flight. And uh, we're doing the same choreography, so I don't think it's a big deal. But wasn't that two days ago? Yeah. That you missed your flight? So when was chalkboard? Two, two days, days ago. ago. So where have you been the last two days? I don't think it's a big deal. I missed my flight. Well, two days good. ago. I think it is a big deal because you know we what? always it's have to be there. It's the same choreography over and over and over, so I um, over it. And it doesn't affect you guys. Well, it but it does affect, affect us because we're a group. 
because we have to show up. But you're up not regardless. in the duet, right? You're not in the duet. Here we go again as a group, okay? You guys are not in the duet. It's between Melissa and I, and if Melissa and I have to discuss it with Abby, then we will. But you know I what? Understand we're in this whole... room, and it's a team. You don't yeah, get but to you're not in We were here the last two days, Mackenzie being upset because okay. she didn't get to do a then duet. Then maybe you guys should have donned your tights and got on stage with her. Because I get so sick and tired of hearing you guys. It's a team, it's a group, it's a team, it's a group. Yet Vivi is not really in any of your numbers. And I don't classify sitting on a swing being in part of your numbers. So I'm not on your team. I'm not your friend. That Why are you even yapping? Won twice overall, both I, times you know we what? did it. And the only reason your daughter was on the swing was because she couldn't do what the other kids were doing. Well, she's also six years old, Kelly. Well, you said she isn't in our dances. We put her in. Why am I even arguing with you? I don't care what you have to say. Okay, then if comment. you don't care what I have to say, I don't care what you have then to you say. need to be quiet. Because no this has nothing to do with you. No one tells me what to do, Kathy. You may as well stick your hand up her butt and be her ventriloquist. Well, then do something about it. I'm frustrated for Melissa because she is not sticking up for herself. I don't believe in being a doormat. It's frustrating to see other people be doormats. But if Melissa wants to be a doormat and have people walk all over her, so be it. I am done. Even though Abby pulled the duet and the duet didn't dance, I'm here right now to support your teams. That's all that matters. Come on, Vivi, let's go. Thank you very much, Kathy. <laughs> right? I'm here for the awards. Thank oh, you. yay. Don't your bother next time. Noted. Thank you. I love Florida. So I bought a house in Orlando. Come on in, hello. I had the kids and the moms come on out to my house to enjoy a day at the pool and have lunch. My mom, the one and only Mary in the Rain, is home. <laughs> hey, my mom is a gracious lady to everybody in the world but me. Grab a plate on that end, go through the line, take your food. Like, I understand that Kathy's busy, but, like, you invite someone to your house, she could at least call me and tell me she wasn't coming. Who's going in? I have no idea how to make a martini. I'll just pour some in there. I love the big watermelon cake. You got the biggest watermelon you oh could find. God. Okay, just go. You put grease all over the watermelon, you throw them in the pool. The goal of the game is to grab the watermelon and get out of the pool with the watermelon in your hands. They fight like cats and dogs trying to hold on to it and keep slipping out. Come on! Let's Let's go! Go! Let's Let's go! Amazing. We go to Abby's house and the kids aren't allowed to be kids. It has to be turned into a competition. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Now the watermelon just hit her run, there. Run, got it. Run. <laughs> run. That looks like a Where disaster. Where do I put the watermelon? Where do I put the watermelon? Get it. up the steps and I'm holding it. Why don't you just She's fine. Yeah, together. All of a sudden, Maddie starts to cry. And she says that she was somehow injured. But from my vantage point, I'm looking at the game. Maddie was not kicked. What happened? Tell me. <laughs> OK, then stay away from it, because it's ridiculous. You're a girl. You're not a boy. Mia's pretty rough, but Maddie does not like getting rough at all. Come on. It's all swollen. Maddie cried because she didn't win. She didn't win the stupid watermelon game. Somebody else got three seconds of glory in front of four moms. We're freaking girls, not boys. The child was not injured. Melissa needs to get a better balance of how to deal with these situations. We're really excited that there's more competition in Orlando, especially for Maddie, because it's going to challenge her a little bit. And, you know, she's very competitive, but she likes when there's a challenge. While Maddie was rehearsing, there was a little girl practicing as well, about 10 feet away from her. Her name is Juliana, and we've seen her at other competitions. A lot of people think that Juliana is Maddie's big competition. Don't get me wrong, she's a sweet girl and a great little dancer, but Maddie has no competition. Do you want to grab a drink and go get your costume and everything? Sure. OK, let's go get a drink.
Juliana is probably the toughest competitor here, and I think she's a really good dancer, but I think I have a good chance of beating her. like my Maddie. Are you a good tumbler? Yes. Well, Mackenzie's a good tumbler, too. And does it really matter who wins, or does no. it really matter who has fun? That's right. What's the answer? We want... I don't care if I don't win. <laughs> good luck. It was so nice meeting you. you oh, luck. thank you. Good luck to you, honey. Thank you. Maddie, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Brooke and Brandon, they couldn't be any more disconnected. Kick. See, this is this stab that she's getting frustrated now. That kick has been in every one of your dances. That should be perfect. Maddie, who was the only one who qualified for the project. I would expect nothing less from her. Today I'm doing my solo for the pageant, and I'm kind of nervous because my rival, Juliana, is also competing against me. We don't have a title pageant um, at any competition that we've ever gone to. This is something new that we've seen here, and it was kind of exciting. And now, please welcome back to this that when I dance, I'm a winner, and I don't let the competition get to me. But now, it's the interview part in the, in the pageant, and I'm super nervous. You've been in the pageant for a long time. You know how to do this. Some of them have probably never spoken in front of judges before, right? Juliana is a good speaker, and she didn't mess up once, and I kind of mumbled once or twice, so I'm not sure if I'm going to win or not. Ladies and gentlemen, our first one Let's go. Come on. You ready, Neil? Brandon Brooke, what's going on over there? You both look miserable. 
you should draw the judges' eyes over to you. That's the choreography. If they look over and see vanilla paste drying, they're not gonna keep looking over. It's obvious that Brooke and Brandon are not having the connection. Abby's not happy about it, but she should have expected this. This is why we didn't do a duet last year. With the dance, I've been trying to connect with Brooke the whole week, but she's been pretty cold towards me. We did these turns one time. Turn. This is the only thing I'm worried about. When she's sliding down, what? You're fine. The belt. Shiny lip gloss photo shoot. Dress me up in peekaboo. I don't think so. Maybe ten twist and then the time I lens your mind. Let's go. We'll photoshop with airbrush strokes. We're trying to touch the dirty jets. I'm watching Snapshot, it was a mess. Brooke's legs were bent, her feet weren't pointed. It was just the technique, you know? Hit or miss. Brooke and Brandon were supposed to be falling in love and I thought they couldn't be any more disconnected. Come on, I want to get you to the dressing room and talk about this down there. Let's go. Brandon can't be with you until we get downstairs. No, we have to leave. We have to leave. The group number was a disaster. Brandon and I don't have time to stick around for this. I know Abby's going to be looking for a fall guy, and Brandon's going to be it. place in the top 10. And that's unheard of for this group. This is like the dream team. We are rehearsing Nia solo. Oh. I want Nia to put her Bollywood costume on. Holly's always upset because Nia doesn't have enough time to learn things. Here. Come on, I, you know what? Let me just have it rehearse. Get over it. You know, man up, get over it. Learn the number, go out there, sell it. And, you know, quit giving in to that. I, I, I just think that she's making her child weaker instead of stronger or the feet flexed or pointed. So you can't decide once you get there. Arm straighter! Bigger, bigger, bigger! Give me something. You're like at a funeral. Mia's name is screamed out constantly. Mia. Boom, hip! It's in a nasty, barking way. It's really mean. Do it. Kick. See, this is this step. Yeah, but she's getting frustrated now. That kick. Kick, touch has been in every one of your dances. So that should be perfect. If you hear it one way, and I think she's feeling it another way, because it's... Yeah, but Holly, we're right back to the same thing. I don't need to be here doing this with her. Holly has to stop questioning my every move. It's always this little underlying dig. Like, Nia's not good enough. Nia's not tall enough. Nia's not skinny enough. Nia's not this enough. Get over it. Trust me. As a teacher, we give them the tools, we do our job, it's up to them to go out in the world and use them. I disagree with if that. If I need to wipe her butt all the way there, that's ridiculous. It's vicious at times, and sometimes I don't think Abby realizes the way that she says things and how hurtful her words are. And I'm not asking you to wipe her butt, I'm asking you to do your job. When you talk to Maddie and you're giving her corrections, you're not barking at her and yelling at her wrong. How many times did I tell you this? Time and time again. You don't talk to her that way. Because That's I have to tell her once. I don't know what Holly's problem is this week, but she said to me, you're just barking orders at her. You're just barking at her, which was like calling me a dog, which I did not appreciate. Go out there, 
flex, point, do what you're supposed to do, and we'll see if the judges like it. Thank you. Spent a lot of time with Holly. I have never seen her get emotional. She's a stone mountain. And she was crying her heart out because when it's your daughter, it hurts. I was okay until I saw her sitting there and she's upset. I know. I never thought I would like to answer that something. Oh, I know. I... And I think Holly finally stepped back from that educator stance and she became a mother. And she saw what I go through every week. All of a sudden, it just hit me like I have allowed to get to this point, and I felt bad. Like, I was I know. so responsible. I know, I subjected her to this. So I took it oh. to Abby, and oh. Abby doesn't get it. I'm like, Wipe your tears. We can't go out there looking like this, because we, ha we, we have to go out there and look intimidating. So that's why you know, we oh, have to yeah. be dressed up. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, girls. Bye, Hall. How are, you, how are you doing? Okay? You ready to dance? Mm -hmm. Love you. I'm feeling better right now. After having a conversation with Christy for a little bit and checking in with Nia, who unfortunately was giving me the support I'm supposed to be giving her, <laughs> so I felt bad about that. I'm supposed to be the person who's supposed to be her rock, and I fell apart. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Corrections, and I forget the routine, or she's going to do the routine and not do the corrections. It's probably not her little head, her brain can hold but so much information. She should be really proud of herself. I was happy with her. I was thrilled, actually. I think she might be next. We have some special awards to give away. Here we go. 9 to 11, Bo Florig now. Number 441A, Neo with Bollywood for the four stars and a first place trophy. Nia was first place in her category, and that hasn't happened all season. I was really proud of her. She looked beautiful. She did a great job. I think Nia has really come a long way. Hey, she's got so I knew you could do it. You're so awesome. 
So look, Kulipa didn't win, but Mia did. And I am so happy. I'm thrilled. Yes! <sighs> what do we think, girls? We have had an amazing competition season. The Dream Team has been doing so well. Maddie is undefeated with her solos. So I have a little more news. I think your mothers are going to fall off their chairs. Oh, God, what? We're going from here to Vegas, to Los Angeles, California, and to Lake Tahoe. I'm not going to fall off my chair. I'm going to shoot myself. And you better be the overall high score. Do you understand? I don't think the moms are so excited. We're doing a world tour. It's ridiculous. No moms! Hang at the pole no while moms. you have the kids. No moms! No moms! Come on, help me out here. This is not possible for us. We did not bargain for this kind of travel. I've got committed things happening at home for my dance studio, so it's not possible. We're not doing it. You don't look very happy. OK, First well, back. we're not going to go to Las Vegas. OK. We're, we're getting off the party train. We just are not going to be able to, to accomplish And there's nobody, this. like your mom can't just bring her, or? No, no. And you know that Vivi's not going to go with anybody but me anyhow. So. I thought maybe your mom. Yeah, no, she's not going to do that. And just not going to work for us. Hey, everyone's replaceable. You know that. Yep, even dance teachers. If I'm going to go on tour, I'm going to go on tour with my students who are winning platinums. I respect you as a teacher. I think you're wonderful. I'm not going to Vegas. Well, you're a quitter. Whatever. It's the people that you just bend over backwards for, you give the opportunity to, you don't stick to your rules, and this is how it turns out. That was the first time I saw you cry. Really? I never do. I just, that's just not who I am. I'm very stoic. I'm pretty reserved and can hold myself together. And then I just lost it. All of a sudden, it just hit me. Like, I have allowed to get to this point, and I've felt bad. Like, I feel I know so how responsible. Many to hate to I subjected her to this. I think for me, I'm questioning as a mom at this point, why am I doing this? I don't like seeing you cry. You look so sad. It makes me sad. Just even looking back at that memory, I didn't realize how upset I really was and how that really got you were to me. Really upset. I was just a, a basket case that day, a basket case of nerves. And I think as a parent, you never want your child to see you in that place. You were probably more of a parent <laughs> that day than I was to you. Was there one moment where you realized, oh boy, this is it? I think I just became a full-time dance mom. Nia froze while doing a solo in Miami. See, so like how strong we start. Uh, and this is when I knew, like, uh-oh. My worst fears are coming true, and my heart begins to break, and I see my little girl freeze. Oh, then you run off stage. And my heart broke watching you come out strong. You looked great. And then all of a sudden, to see you just freeze on stage, I'm like, oh my gosh. She doesn't, she's not going to do it. And then when you ran off stage, I'm like, oh. it was like the wind just kind of was like someone punched me in the gut. I forgot it, Mom. We're working on you will do it again. It's your turn to shine. Okay? Stop psyching yourself out. You're an amazing, amazing dancer. There's nothing to be afraid of. As a mother, for me, it was really important for Nia for you to know that you can get back out there and compete. Because mm -hmm. I thought if you waited for the next time you had a solo, it would be that much harder to get on stage and perform that solo. Hi, I wasn't sure who I should speak to. Nia would like to do her dance again, if it's at all possible. Take a deep breath before you go on. I'll find a spot. And I think for me, that was the moment that I realized that I'm a dance mom. I think I just felt like really hurt and disappointed. Mm -hmm. Felt like I let people down. But it was good that you were there, because then you are the one who was like, no, you're going back on stage. And I was like, OK. I want my kids to do their best and to be their best. My mom and I are 
really, really close. Where were BFFs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Nia, really, which was worse? Forgetting the dance or Abby's critique of your hair? Abby's criticism of my hair is worse than forgetting my dance. I stand on my credentials and my knowledge. That's fine. something you can never take away. Then fix this hair, because it's horrible. Who is and Abby to give you fashion advice, styling oh, advice way. for your hair? Or you fix your hair and fix your face and your body and everything else. And that's that's fine. Brooke is laughing in the back. I'll do Let's it. Let's start critiquing people. Let's start with you. Look in the mirror. Holly had to go after me, you know, go for the jugular. Look in the mirror, fix your own body, fix your own hair. Holly, let's start. Get a padded bra. Don't wear dresses. What else do you want me to tell you, huh? Enough is enough. If you want to fix someone up and if you're such like a miss fix it, fix yourself. Look in the mirror. Start with the woman in the mirror and leave my kid alone. I stand behind that. Since Abby thinks that she's so perfect, who is she to cast a first stone? And you know what? I got approval for those braids when I got them put in. Not in from my dance company, didn't it? Yes, says I right did. In. Yes, Do I not did. change your hair. And oh. you know what? I did get approval for it, and this is part of her ethnicity. Well, it's weighing her down. It's Ethnic weighing her down. Is, there are four when other she, people here in the last behind. three weeks, Holly. It's like a log coming out of the side of us. Those two little buns, mm -hmm. like, I probably should have just had it up in a ponytail. But either way, she wasn't talking about the way I had it then. She was just talking about my braids. Your braids were beautiful. They were. Braids were beautiful. They were. You liked them a lot. Because then I could go swimming. You know what's interesting? I think growing up as an African-American woman, here is always a sensitive topic. And Nia's the only person of color on the team. Her hair is different. You know, you can put hair in different hairstyles, and you can do really cool, funky things with Nia's hair. And it's fun. And it became an issue for Abby because she wants everything to look the same. And Nia's never going to look the same as everybody else. Let's go, girls! Come on! Come on, get it in here! Come on, come on, come on! Last week's competition, Fire and Ice Elite, was a big disappointment, ladies. I mean, here we are invited back as winners, and you guys don't even place? Not acceptable. Six of you weren't in unison. The group, it was just a complete train wreck. When you do partner work, it really has to be in sync. The group needs to be cleaner. Do you understand? I am so sick of Abby coming down on our kids. How are you going to be amazing on stage when your teacher keeps knocking you down and making you lose your self-confidence? She always puts the blame on someone else. All right, now let me get right to the pyramid. First, I have Mackenzie. I think your acting could have been bigger and longer. And I think when you walk, we need to work on turning those feet out. Next, I have Paige. I was in the dressing room all day long with you. I didn't see you utilizing your spare time. And you need to do that. Next, Nia. I just need to see more from you. It's tough to see Nia at the bottom of the pyramid again and again and again this week. It's it's frustrating. She's doing everything she possibly can to get ahead. Moving up, Chloe. Chloe, I thought you did a nice job on your solo, but your age is 10. You're competing 10 to 12. You have to dance like a 12-year-old. Chloe competed against girls who were years older than her, and she still got second place. The only thing Abby sees, though, is that she didn't win first. She is ridiculous. And next, we have Brooke. Once again, you danced 13 to 15. At 13, you won the whole division. And on the top of the pyramid is Maddie. Maddie, I challenged you to see if you could stay there for two weeks in a row, and you did. Now I'm challenging you again. Can you make it three? I was so happy to be on the top of the pyramid for two weeks in a row, but also I kind of feel bad for the other girls because I think they worked very hard too. All right, now, this weekend, we will be traveling to Miami Beach, Florida. I love Miami. It's tropical, it's exciting, it's fun, it's fast paced. There's sun, there's sand, and there's pool boys. We will all be performing a group number. Even me? Even you. Yay. The group number is called Reputation. I want you to think about Annette Funicello and Frankie Avalon in Beach Blanket Bingo. 
Miss Abby starts talking about Annette Funicelli and the beach bingo. I have no idea what she's talking about. Now, moms, when those girls get home tonight, I want you to look at some of those old movies. I want the girls to see what that's all about because that's gonna be their group number. It's 60, it's pony, it's swim. Cute, 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 fun in the sun. I want to see big high ponytails, big beautiful smiles, and little itsy bitsy 60s bikinis. This week, Maddie, you have another solo. Chloe, you will also be doing a solo. My next soloist will be Nia. We also have a trio with Maddie, Chloe, and Paige. It would be nice if Nia could be considered for the trio. And here was a possible, a potential opportunity for Nia. Once again, she's over a lot. Yes. I'm just letting you know that I have to get my warts cut out of my feet tomorrow. They, they said she should be fine to dance in three days, so we'll be cutting it close. But I don't want to put her in a trio and then have her physically be in pain while she's learning it. We can't change the appointment. I, I've changed it like 15 times. She, she's having a hard time walking on it. You know what, I'm gonna have to think about that. I might put someone else in the trio. Planners warts are common to dancers, and when you have to have them removed, sometimes the kid's out of dance for a week or two weeks. You need to get that fixed, that takes priority. So, we need to start working on this group number right away. It's gonna be a long week. Suck the yawns up, quit yawning in my face, spread apart, get ready to work. Moms. I want resistance. I want the shoulders going down, and I want the chin going up, OK? Press those shoulders down. OK, see, down, lift your chin. Straight. All right, that was the best one yet. That was fabulous, Kendall. Abby's great at pointing out all of Kendall's faults. I don't know if she's so great at fixing them. With my tutelage and the candy apple name, Kendall is really gonna be awesome. I can't believe it, Kathy. After, what, 15 minutes, you fixed three or four well, you know, things like that? Here's the thing, Jill. We've got what it takes back here, the yeah. foundation. Good. We've got the core, no pun intended. I'm just gonna give you a little secret. Kendall's doing really well. I have big plans for her. Kathy says she has big plans for Kendall. I just hope that Kathy's big plans are in line with my big plans. Come on. I want to take the girls back to an era of innocence, to Frankie and Annette and, you know, the beach blankets and the beach balls and the umbrellas. If you don't point that foot, I'm going to come out there and break it. Point your foot. We're going to Miami. And in South Florida, every kid dances. And every kid is amazing. Paige will be very upset if she doesn't get to do the trio. I agree. She'll go on there, dance, whether her foot hurts oh, or not, no, just because she, she doesn't want to be replaced in the trio. Why are you doing the surgery now? Can, you can't wait like a couple more weeks? Couple she, weeks. She's having a hard time walking on Aww. it. Abby says that dancers dance through pain. That's fine if you're on Broadway, but my daughter is 11 years old, and if she can't dance, she's not dancing. Did she mention what the trio was going to be? No, and I thought she would have, because I was wondering if she had to switch it up, who it might be, because I think Nia would have gladly stepped uh -huh. in. Yeah, yes. Nia was volunteering herself I pretty see much that. there. Yeah. I am continuously frustrated with Abby. Nia has so much to offer. She has great potential. And yet, Abby only sees one aspect of Nia. And I'm beginning to believe she will never get a trio. And I'm getting really sick and tired of it. Here's my kid giving 110%, and there's Abby. You can't like, even give her 50. She can't even give her 50%. I think that you have valid points, and if you really feel that strongly, then maybe it's best that you tell Abby. Well, it's I just hope like... I can go downstairs and be calm, because I'm usually very calm, but I'm usually not as ticked as I am tonight. Abby didn't give Nia the trio. Maybe enough is enough, and I should speak up and just Remind Abby that there is someone here. If Paige is not able to perform, Nia might be able to step in. OK. All right, Miss Holly. Good luck. Bye. Bye. One, two, three, four. 
Why are you interrupting my rehearsal? Can I see you for a second outside, just for a moment? Just for a Holly, moment. Holly, I am just... coming to your school. I'm walking into your office, and I'm going to interrupt you. It's ridiculous. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. I have parents who do that all the time. I don't think there's anything more invasive than being interrupted. Holly is now a principal. She, of all the mothers, should understand. I would like for Nia to be considered for the trio. You said you would consider her, yet you looked at her and you looked beyond her in Pyramid and didn't even give her the courtesy of being considered you for that. You are so far off my plans, you have no clue. I was already planning on Nia being the swing for Paige in the trio, but Holly can't even give me three seconds to let me tell her this. No, she has to come in, interrupt my rehearsal again. Paige might not be able to do it. Nia's in. Why didn't you just And Nia has together? a solo, because you come and interrupt me. You don't need to do that. You don't know what my master plan is. I have no idea. You would think that she would have a little bit of respect. What I asked was that we're on the same page. That's all you had to say. It's like Holly was thinking the same thing. That's all you had to say. Yeah, you didn't have Holly, to. it's not about what you're thinking. I it is give about, a crop what you're and thinking. You know what? It does matter what I'm thinking, because I'm her mother. A mother looking up for our daughter trumps the word of a dance teacher all of the not time. Not inside this studio, it doesn't, sweetheart. This is my domain. I'm the principal here. But you just, it's my what office. What you, fear, what you fail to realize, Abby, I don't is have that you don't anything. control me. I will not be bossed around in my own studio. I give Nia a solo, and then I think about putting her in the trio, but that's just not good enough for Holly. Nothing's ever good enough. Well, you know what? Detention is good enough, and that's what her and me are both need. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, go! <gasps> what did you say? She got a need solo to tonight, Abby. and you just blew it. You're expelled. You're done. Holly didn't do Nia any favors. She ruined this entire evening's rehearsal. Nia didn't even get a chance to learn the trio. What has Holly accomplished? Nothing. There are no amount of solos, duos, trios which are worth this aggravation. Are you leaving? I am never setting foot in the studio again. Let's go. Take the number from the top. All right. Wait a minute. Where's Nia? I don't know. She... <sighs> I thought after last night's blow up that Holly would have time to come to her senses. She needs to have Nia at rehearsal today, but Nia's not here. Come on, Holly, grow up. Girls, we have two days, two days before you're in Miami against all those kids that dance at a studio and at school. And then there were two. I know. You know what, Nobody though? Nobody likes us. The two bitches are left. <laughs> I don't blame Holly and Nia for not being at rehearsal today. I wouldn't want to look at her either after she talked to me that way. I mean, Abby just pushes and pushes, and I hope she didn't push too far this time. Smile! Over the top! Watch the butt! Do you think Holly will come at all? I don't know. I texted her and I asked her how she was, and her response was, I'm not good. And I can't imagine her not bringing her to Miami. I mean, she has a solo too, you know yeah. what I mean? I know. If we lose Holly, it's gonna be a devastating loss to our team. She's our center. She really is. She keeps us sane, believe it or not, if we were even to be called sane. I feel bad because we have to learn this dance. So then Neil will be behind. Hold, two, three, four, and exit. I think we're good. I think that's a wrap. I don't know where Nia is, but rehearsal's over. She missed it. Remember, everyone's replaceable. Hi. Hi. We have an appointment for Paige. OK. You guys can just sign in there. This week, Paige has to go to the doctors to have some planner's warts removed. But the problem is, is we have a competition this weekend. So Paige only has two days for her feet to heal. What's giving you trouble? I have three warts. Three warts. Do they hurt? Mm -hmm. yeah. She's a dancer. So okay. whenever she turns, the one on the ball of her foot really hurts. As a dancer and wanting to get back on your feet, if we would have an infection or her slow healing it, or even just the discomfort could keep her off a little bit longer. I can tell you you can dance, but your body may tell you something different. OK. These warts are bothering her feet just to walk around in. So I have to get them done. I'm stepping up as a mom, and the health is coming before dance. OK, Paige, we're going to give each one of these a little zap there. Here goes the first one. OK, Paige, squeeze my hand when it hurts. Mm -hmm. 
did great. It wasn't too bad, was it? We're gonna put a Band-Aid on each one of those and they'll give you some ice to put on there, okay? You did good, Angel. I hope Paige can dance this week. I hope that we have no complications. Take it from the top. Push! Lead with that heel, Maddie. Maddie is doing a solo. It's called All of My Life. This is a stellar routine for her. It has all the elements that she needs. She jumps, she turns, her transitions are lovely. But all of your life has been dancing, right? And dreams coming true and setting new goals. And that's what you need to convey to the judges. All right, out you go, send me Chloe. All right, let's go from the top that far with the music. Five, six, pretty seven, eight. Look at me. When you turn around there, make sure you feel your shoulder blades popping open. This week, my solo is called Send Down Your Love, and I'm excited to do another contemporary lyrical because last week I did a more dark piece. All right, now remember, you're going to get to Miami and your toughest competition flew on the plane with you from Pittsburgh. Yes. Be confident. Pretend you're going after 12 and 13-year-olds. Got it? All right. See ya. Class, okay. Hey, Kendall. Hi. The girls are waiting, so hurry up and get changed so we can start rehearsal. Joe, come here. Hurry up there. Joe, 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 come here. I like beaming. I'm so excited. I got Kendall a performance opportunity. Or as they say in Hollywood, I got her a gig. You got her a gig. Yes. What? An opportunity to dance with the Harlem Globetrotters. You are kidding. No, isn't that fabulous? It is at halftime. Okay, oh, and she is fun. going to be doing like a little solo out there. I think it's adorable. I think it's a perfect fit for Kendall to be dancing at the halftime show of the Harlem Globetrotters. Listen, we'll, we'll talk about it later, okay? okay? That is great. All right, go get Kendall ready. All righty. Thanks. Now listen, you need to tell the story, but you need to dance, and it's not easy. We have an adorable trio and it's called Les Divas. The number is perfectly suited for Maddie, Paige, and Chloe, but some of the steps in the number are very difficult. This is advanced choreography. I know your feet are hurting, but you need to cowboy up and you need to dance. I need to know if you can't do the steps because your feet are sore today. All right, let's do it. Yesterday, I had my planner's warts removed and my feet are really sore, so I'm trying my best. Come on, bigger, Paige. Back leg higher, Paige. You're falling off your center. Is the foot flexed or pointed, Paige? Pointed. Really? Did the doctor say don't know dancing for? No, he said as long as she didn't have a blister, she could dance. The doctor said that unless Paige has any blistering, she can go ahead and dance. Does it hurt to point it? Hey, because your foot is just like this. She doesn't want to be replaced in the trio again. Whoa! Paige, I know your feet hurt, but what happened in that whole section you forgot? If you go out there and dance like you were today, we don't have a shot at winning. I'm gonna have to pull you from the number. Go, you're finished. Paige is really making me nervous. She is hopping all over the place. Her foot is really bothering her. I may have no other choice but to pull the trio from the competition. Hey. Hi. Holly blew up at me the other night because she wants Nia in a trio, but they have been absent from rehearsals for an entire day and a half. We're leaving for Miami tomorrow. She definitely wants to come back. Nia wants to be here. And I just don't want what happens to interfere with her dance progress and whatever the issues we have Holly, with each other. I would never let a kid's parent hold them back. Nia, you need to get into rehearsal. I just don't want you to let her miss rehearsals. She will be here. Nia makes her own opportunities. She has to earn it. I decided to come back to the studio to teach Nia how to take the high road, be a bigger person, and to not run away from your problems. Hey, ladies. Hi. Hardest thing was walking through that door again. Yeah. I certainly didn't want to do that. Nia really wanted to come and she wanted, she was worried about the group dance. What a team player. She is. I, I know. That's the first thing she asked about this morning before I went to school. Am I going to dance today? I'm like, are you kidding me? Ultimately, my daughter loves to dance. She has that passion. And if that means that I have to deal with that evil witch, Abby, 
then I guess I'll just be the bigger person. Nia, don't make any mistakes, because you missed the whole first rehearsal when I had time to go through mistakes. concerned going to Miami. I know there's going to be amazing dancers there. I mean, they are on their A game all the time. Nia, that whole entire section is what we went over and over and over, and you missed it. And that's the part you messed up. All right, girls, dismiss. It's over, Nia. Maybe you can practice in Florida, because you don't know that section. I know Nia wants to do a really good job, but I am worried that this week has been a little bit too much on her. Stretch the knees. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Turn out. So well. Nia is doing a jazz acrobatic routine. Nia didn't show up for rehearsal for a whole day and a half. Will she pull it off? I don't know. Forced arch. Come on, sister do. I don't see those heels touching. Freeze. Squeeze those ankles together. Get up. Do it. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. Squeeze that. She better go out and nail this after all the trouble her mother caused me during my rehearsals. I am so excited to get out of the cold Pittsburgh winter, Miami, Florida. Here we come. We're about to arrive at the airport. So I want you on your best behavior as you enter this airport and board the flight. The competition starts now. Oh, for goodness sakes. I think it's good that the girls and I have some free time to ourselves to go to the ocean and just have some relaxation time. Now, who all watched the video, Beach Blanket Bingo? You did. Good girl. One person. You didn't watch it? No? 50 push-ups, 50 push-ups, 50 push-ups, 50 push-ups. I told your mothers to make sure you watch the movie. Come on. This really scares me. It scares me because these mothers are not backing up Abby Lee Miller. They are not backing up my lessons for the girls. Tell them about the movie. What other moves did they do? Really like the pony, the swim, the jerk. Or the pony, the swim, and the jerk in your number. Yes. So let's see. Stand up. <laughs> well, the girls have worked really hard, and we only have a few hours to spend on the beach. Yep. Can you go in the water? How about if I pick you up and throw you in the water? Can we go? Go, 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 go. I don't know how cold it is, guys. Go and lose her. I couldn't have gotten lost at sea. How's Paige? How's her feet? Yeah. What's she doing? Oh, she has moments that they are bothering her. Like if you watch her walk, she goes, mm -hmm. it's like she's on her tippy toe on one foot and on her heel on the other foot. Like, I think Paige will be able to do it. I think Paige should be able to do it. I mean, I want if by chance she wakes up and it's blistered or something, I'm not Nia's allowing gonna her. Nia's going to sneak into the room to tonight with a cigarette going, yeah. oh, you got to push it. it. <laughs> I know Paige's feet are bothering her. I just hope that Paige would tell me if she couldn't dance. How do your feet feel? They're OK. They just hurt like when I walk and I run. OK, well, don't walk and don't run. Holly, is Nia able to do it? You know, I'm a nervous Nelly. I always worry, like, can she pull it off? Nia has been running her solo every free chance that she gets. 
but she has only had one chance to run with Abby. And I'm really concerned how well Nia's gonna perform during this competition. It looks like she had a lot of time to learn it, so that's a lot of pressure. I think she's prepared to do it, but I think she's probably also nervous at the same time. This is exciting. I'm excited. Kendall, she's going to dance at the halftime show of the Harlem Globetrotters. This is gonna be like a cheerleader dance, and I think the crowd will really appreciate her for what she's gonna bring to it. She's about to go on here in a second. Oh, okay. Let's go get you over to that corner. Thank you so much. You can do this, okay? You're gonna be spectacular for me. Okay. This is great for us. This is candy apples and Kendall. We might have to take it on the road. Do good. This is the most people I've ever danced in front of before, and I'm feeling a lot of pressure, and I don't want to disappoint my mom or Kathy. biggest thing Kendall has ever done, and if she nails it, I am confident this will open many more doors for her. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to have a good time. So she was gonna go out there and dance. And I was really, really proud and really pleased for Kendall. This is really, she needed this. This is like an arena, like a big stage. It's the morning of the competition and I'm feeling excited, energized. It's at the Florida International University, a gorgeous campus. Remember, this is Miami. Even though these girls are on dance teams and they're here competing, they all go to dance class. You want them to go home saying, oh my goodness, you can't believe those girls from Pittsburgh. So in the green room, right before we're getting ready to dance, Paige is sitting there icing her feet, and I'm thinking, this doesn't look too good. You told me that you think you can do it. I'd rather pull the number now when they take a break than pull it right before it's ready to go on and have you all upset and everybody upset. I think I can do it. Paige better not be lying to me. And this better not come back to bite me in the butt. They better get out there and be the divas that I've trained them to be. Performing next, we have Abby Lee Dance. Dun, dun. purple were just striking on stage. It was different than anything anybody did. I'm really proud of myself because I danced through the pain. Performing next, we have an Abby Lee dance routine.
fabulous because I could just tell in their attitude. This, the costumes are so adorable. They come strutting out and I just love this dance. <laughs> doing something different in the choreography really worked in our favor. When the girls went back to the umbrella and Brooke did her round off back lay out step out, the crowd went crazy. This group was clearly the best. They were the most entertaining, they were having fun, the whole audience was into it. I would really be surprised if they didn't win first. Moving on, third place, ensemble, Beach Bun from Even though we did not win first place in the group category, I'm still very proud of the girls. Not only is the competition fierce in Miami, but they were competing against girls in high school, and they still placed in the top three. That's impressive. What'd you girls think? I thought we did really good. Well, there was tough competition out there today. There was definitely tough competition, and congratulations to everybody. Thanks. But before you went out there, remember, this is Miami. These girls are probably gonna be amazing. You want to be more amazing, understood? The group dance did not win first place, but I have solos that will shine. I am a little nervous this week for Maddie to do her solo because it's on a gym floor and she slipped last time we were in a gym. So she's really, really nervous. Maddie, please take the stage. solo this week is one of my favorites. Uh, the song is beautiful and she really got into character and it really touched my heart. This week I'm really excited for my solo. I think my costume's perfect for Miami and I love it. And I hope this week I can really win first. Is it any wonder, is it any wonder to see?
Carrie solo was good. I saw a few things that she can improve upon. She did some new turns in her dance that I really don't feel she's ready to do yet. But otherwise, I thought she did a great job. Mia, can you take this date? Mia was really shaken up by the argument that I had with Abby, and I'm concerned that this fight is going to get her focus not on the dance, but focusing on trying to please Abby and doing everything perfectly. <laughs> perform and I see my little girl freeze and there's nothing more I can do than just be a supportive mom. yourself out. You are an amazing, amazing dancer. There's nothing to be afraid of. We care that you can show people and you can dance. At this point, I'm thinking I have nothing to lose. Let me go to the competition director. I know it's very rare that they would ever let someone do a dance over. I want my child to at least be considered for a second chance. Hi, I wasn't sure who I should speak to. Mia would like to do her dance again, if it's at all possible. Take a deep breath before you go on. I'll find a spot. What I found was the competition director was amazing. She was very accommodating. Her heart bled for Nia, and she allowed her to do this dance again, and I was thrilled. I knew when she got off the stage, she was going to be mortified. But most importantly, she was going to be afraid of Abby's reaction. I heard you're going to dance again. You know when you dance again, you have to be a 1,000 times better than the first time. For me, it's not just about this routine on this day. This is a life lesson that we all need to learn. I am preparing Nia for the future, and a future in this business is tough. You don't get a second chance. audience and she performed with a smile with energy and she proved to herself that she could do it moving on to elementary division first through fifth grade in third place Even after the week that kids had, Nia acted like a responsible dancer. If you fall off the bike, you need to get right back on it. Good for her. That was good, Holly. Don't be happy with that. 
that. I'm proud of myself and I'm glad I did it. In second place, Chloe from Abby Lee. So proud of my girls. All the solos placed. Maddie first, Chloe second, and even Nia placed third. I'm thrilled and I'm honored and I'm glad we came to Miami and kicked some tan butts. Have a good job, girls. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good was good. Nia, you came back, you placed. That was good. Think about what you can do better so that that never happens again and maybe place higher. I thought you looked really great. good. Let's go. Yeah. Thank Get you. Get up. Let's move. Good weekend in Miami. You guys seem tired. You're in Miami. This place, the clubs don't even open till midnight. Come on. We're going to BED. That's right. Yeah. Bed. Oh, yep, that's right. Club bed. <laughs> Season five, my biggest dream has come true. Got my music video, starring your own life, and that was my biggest accomplishment ever. Did you ever think anything like that would ever happen? Well, I've always dreamed of having my own music video, but I didn't even think it would come this soon. <laughs> like, I'm only 13. It's not every day as a mom that you get to see your 13-year-old daughter deliver an outstanding performance in her first music video. Mia, I think, reminds a lot of people of the girl next door. And if Mia can make it, so can my kid. You are seeing the journey of an underdog becoming a star. I felt like I accomplished something. It was great. And everybody was cheering my name, and it was exciting. Mia has worked so hard. And as a mother, so proud. Not boastful, just proud. I have to thank my dance teacher, Miss Abby, because... Oh, <laughs> there she is. <laughs> I have to thank her because she is the reason why I'm dancing. And if I wasn't dancing, then I wouldn't be here. <laughs> This is why we stayed at the Abby Lee Dance Company. The training is incredible. Whether you like Abby or not, we had this amazing platform which allowed Nia to get to the point where she could actually star in her own life. I just take from my hug with Evan. Yeah. <laughs> I look forward to my hugs with Evan. <laughs> I just want to congratulate Nia and her family for a job well done, amazing work, and I'm glad to see her dancing in there. I'm going to tell you something that I tell all of my students who are moving into the professional world. This is just the beginning. I'm really happy Abby came to support my video because at first it didn't seem like she was really happy about it, but her coming makes me feel really good. So I hope that this is another step to move forward and forget the past. I thought the video was dynamic and slick. It was good, but I was a little disappointed. The video is based on her song, and the song is Star in Your Own Life. That didn't seem like Nia's own life. I wonder what she thinks my life is. Since you're living your life, that's the whole point. You get to star in your own life. It seemed like somebody's contrived life that they want Nia to have. She thinks she knows everything about me. I know. And sometimes when she speaks, it really reveals that she doesn't know as much about you as she thinks she does. What do you really think about Abby right now? Usually we laugh because, to be honest with you, how can you take her seriously? Like, you are a bad caricature. Like, I think at a certain point, I would get so enraged and annoyed because you get worried that right. she really does control your destiny. But now it's kind of just like, we laugh about it because she can't really hurt me. Mm-mm, she really can't. I honestly think we have Abby to thank for your success because if Abby had not been so rude and obnoxious, we probably would have been like, okay, we'll just wait our turn. Why would I want Abby to be involved with your music career when she's done nothing but put it down? She didn't you know? think that I could actually do it. I don't think she thought we had the guts to do it on our own. Abby threw down a gauntlet and was like, 
you're not gonna do it without me. I'm gonna take away this opportunity and it's gonna destroy you. And I saw that as a challenge to prove to her that Nia will become a star with or without you. So good to be home. Yeah, it feels we so good it. to be home. We're here. I mean, I love LA. I mean, I hate this cold weather, but are you sad that this is changing? I'm gonna be sad to leave Pittsburgh. I really will. And I had fun in LA, and I really miss my boys. I miss my husband. I miss my two sons. I miss my routines. This is, you know, what we do. This is our last Pittsburgh pyramid. I'll believe it when I see it. When we live it. <laughs> yep. Hello, everybody. Hi. Are you all glad to be back in this weather? No. no. Cold. Cold. We're only in Pittsburgh for one week before we head back to LA. The ALDC was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I have taken these kids from right here in my hometown and led them to national victories for five competition seasons. This might just be our last competition here. All right, so I'm just letting you know that the more time we spend in Pyramid, the less time I rehearse with your kids. We have a ton of stuff going on because we have our regular competition plus jump. Now jump is a big dance convention where these amazing teachers teach master classes and my girls have the opportunity to win scholarships. That's gonna all happen before we reconvene in Los Angeles to continue this competition season. Girls, you know that we have visitors this weekend? Don't even say it. The rotten. Oh, please. Uh, so uh, who else is coming? Who Ava is and her team. Why would Ava and her mother come? Why? I got a tweet that they were coming and Candy Apples is coming. They're coming here to our backyard to beat you guys. This week is more important, I think, than any week we've had so far. And the problem is Kathy and Jeanette with Abby is going to be late. I, I have a not a good feeling about this weekend. When we have Kathy, there's just like a huge hurricane. And Jeanette is also our competitor. So now we have not only one crocodile, but two crocodiles going after us. And that's not good. Crocodiles are not safe. Come on, girls, let's go. I want to start off by saying that I had a pretty good time in Los Angeles. Yay. And I think probably the highlight of my trip was seeing my student perform at the Grammys. Can I just say what I was excited about is when Maddie started dancing, the crowd was screaming her name. She got more applause than Madonna. It's amazing. Is there anything else you'd like to tell the kids? I got to meet a lot of amazing celebrities, and it was really funny. I was walking in the hallways, and when I didn't have the wig on, celebrities weren't really coming up to me. But then when I had the wig on, everyone was like, oh my god, oh my god. So I have like two sides to me. Like when I put the blonde wig on, I'm like, Speaking of milestones, we're going to have, actually, Evan is planning to do something. Your Evan. My Yay. Evan for Nia's video. We're going to have a premiering this Saturday in between classes and the competition downtown. So I just want to throw it out there, everyone, if you can make it. It's Valentine's Day, isn't it? It is. Sorry, I can't come. I'm going to dinner with my husband. I'm sorry. It's oh, daytime. Oh, daytime. I can go that. It's, it's in between the classes and competition. I don't know what's going on with Holly. Did they take PhDs away? Because she has lost her mind. She is going to have a premiere party for Nia's video Saturday afternoon when she knows darn well that Jump is having class. She's crazy. The moment is here. Before we go to LA, we are going to Australia. Yes, yes. I will be teaching a master class along with Gianna. We will be performing an entire showcase, just the Abbey Lee Dance Company. So, with all that said, let's get to the pyramid. The bottom of the pyramid is Kendall. You're not here because you didn't do that solo perfectly. You know why. Everybody rushes me. Suck it up. I'm leaving. I'm moving on. Next, Mackenzie. You did not perform with the group. Moving on. Nia. As far as I'm concerned, you always want to get higher in Releve. 
You always want to lengthen your limbs. Next on the pyramid, we have Jojo. I thought you were good. It is very difficult to do turn sequences with your arms like this. Next. Kalani. You did a ponche. It was beautiful. I'd like to see you take more of a leadership stance. That's what Maddie does. And you listen to her. <laughs> so, that's why Maddie's on top again. Maddie is at the top of the pyramid because she gave an outstanding performance at the 57th Annual Grammy Awards. Yay. All right, this weekend, we will attend Starbound National Talent Competition here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So, solos. Kendall, I'm giving you the opportunity to redeem yourself. You will be performing a solo. My next solo is going to Kalani. The group routine is deep. It should be chilling. Well, you have to have something of that caliber if you're going against candy apples. I agree. Kathy has competed against me out of maybe 20 competitions that she attended, I can remember getting beat twice. Once was one of my dear friends' choreography. The next time was the last time. reason that they are threatening to you is not lovely technique, but because they want to meet you. They're hungry for it. So we are out for blood. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, if you want to go to our show, you got to win this week. Abby's putting a lot of pressure on the girls this week because it's their last competition in their hometown before leaving for LA. I get it. She wants the girls to leave on a high note, but we have a convention this week and a competition. So the girls essentially have to be at two places at one time. It gives them a lot of pressure. Girls, this group dance is very important. You can't afford to lose for me. All right, Gianna, where do we stand with this? Spread out and go over this next part. No sign of life like a catastrophe. A helicopter, a search party, he's out looking. Get closer. He's flying above. He looks down, thinks he might see something, goes closer, no sign of life. They're, they're dead. Girls, your left arm is way too behind your line of center in your preparation for your leap. Oh my gosh, wait, wait, wait. Mikey just texted me and he said, just checking in. Can't wait for you to see the whole video. You should have a link shortly. I don't want anyone to think, not bragging, so putting that out there, not bragging, but I'm a proud mom. <laughs> yeah, I am. To a flaw, I am. I get it. Holly's really excited about Nia's music video premiering this week, but honestly, it's starting to get annoying because our team should come first. Kendall has a music video coming out soon, too, but you don't hear me blabbing about it all the time. I'm loyal to the team and their needs. Holly used to be, but she's not anymore. I did the same thing with you that I did with my friends in Pittsburgh, and no one came across that I was bragging. That was yeah, very upsetting. Yeah, but they upsetting. didn't see the weeks before leading up to it. Let's see if Holly posted anything. Oh my god, yes. Look at that. Aubrey O'Day on set with Nia, killing any music vid ever released on Dance Moms The Real Abby. Hashtag team. Aubrey's the one who hooked you up with Mikey and everybody else. You lucked out. No. I'm going to put that right out there. No. Let's move on from that, because we have a big week. I, I agree with you. We are a team, and we have to stick together. This is really important. Absolutely.
everybody. Welcome to Pittsburgh. A little similar to Ohio. Yeah. Big difference is I live over there and Abby lives here. Interestingly, Jeanette is along for the ride. Now we all know Jeanette and we the all stalker. feel the, and we all feel the same about her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. God forbid that we would lose to Jeanette. Oh my god. Oh please. So that's why this piece has to be great. We're in Pittsburgh. I know that Abby's going to be there. It's her hometown. That's her stomping grounds. And I would like to see us walk in victorious from this past triumph. OK, get your jackets off. Let's get moving. I am working on all of our merchandise. Oh my, I love, you know what? See, people make mistakes all the time. Can I just say, I don't know how Abby's gonna manage it. I mean, there's just so much. She has to worry about everything else that she's doing. Like, she has to worry about a competition. A studio being built in LA. Yeah, everything LA. but the task at hand this week, which is our last stalker week in Pittsburgh. So Rock she's samples. distracted, she's not focused. And she's got 800 things going on. Totally she thinks think. big. She thinks empire. It's too much. It's way too much. So Abby's leaving? So, you know that the theme of the dance, it's all about you. Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited? Yes, really excited. Because we had such a big week last week with you and your citizenship, it's going to be all about that. Vivi is now a US citizen. I thought, how great would that be to put that together in a story for the girls to dance out with Vivi participating? And I couldn't be prouder. My heart is swelling. You know. When mommy and daddy adopted you, mm -hmm. we could have easily gotten your citizenship then. Yeah. I wanted to wait so that you could actually hold that flag in your hand and know what it meant. So I could understand it more and everything, put in order. Yeah. And every single day that I wake up, I am so blessed that I have you. And you get a lot of stuff out of me too, don't you? Yes, I yeah. do. <laughs> Sweetheart, someday. That looks yummy. What is going on here? Come on. It's a little bit much there. Okay, so we could totally dampen Vivi. Either eat it or put it down. I cannot talk to a spoonful of ice cream. I am talking to you, okay? All right, just wait till I'm done talking. <laughs> okay. Just don't get it on your outfit, okay? Well, I'm glad that we had an opportunity to have this little treat. Even if we win or we lose, this is a celebration of you. It's our celebration. Abby's definitely not going to rain on our parade. We got a lot of work to do for the rest of the week. We need to win. <laughs> Cheers to a winning team. Highlighting Vivi. start with the group. The name is the Patriot. Let me tell you why this is so very important to me. You are introducing Vivi. You may not have known, but Vivi's going to be in the dance. So we want to showcase Vivi in this dance, talking about the fact that she is now a citizen. And she, um, OK. <laughs> Um, okay, so what does this mean with Abby? Abby is always sticking her nose in places that it doesn't belong. And years ago, she screamed at me that one of the reasons why she was mad at me was because Vivi did not know at the time that she was adopted, which was ridiculous. Okay, I'm done crying. In using Vivi in the dance, we wanted to make sure that the judges understood exactly why we were portraying the Patriot and what it was all about. And so Vivi was going to seize every opportunity because she is a Patriot. All right.
beautiful cabriels. Strong. And two together. Beautiful. And take that breath. Up, up on the ground to take. Yes. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Haven't seen you since you were on the select team. We're here rehearsing. You're in this studio rehearsing. Mm -hmm. We've got scheduled happen? time. Love the fact that you're here. Don't love the fact that you're on our, our rehearsal time. Well, we got to check, because you might be on our rehearsal time. I, I don't, don't know, know about that yet. I don't think it works so, that way. All yeah, right, but why don't we go in? We have to go ahead and go, go stretch, stuff, and we'll so finish fine. our rehearsal. Right. Later on, maybe we can chat. I mean, this could be like a, the beginning of a beautiful I allegiance. Well, I think all of us have got a lot in common. Well, you know what, though? The yeah. thing that's different, though, is that now they're all winners against her. So that is the difference. <laughs> OK, go, go stretch, because we have to rehearse. To really get your back leg up. I'm going to call Jeanette, because I thought about it last night. So are you friends with Jeanette? I didn't know that. Yeah, OK. She saw my pictures on social media. She was like, oh, Nia looks great. And I was like, I should invite Jeanette. I want Nia's video premiere to be as big as possible. And I know, based on last week, that ALDC may not be as supportive as I needed to be. So at this point, I'm reaching out to Jeanette and her team. The more, the merrier. If we can have people come out and support Nia, that's the most important thing. Hi, Holly. Hi, Jeanette. How are you? Good. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Who on earth are you talking <laughs> to? Um, Kathy was just walking through. Kathy? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. It's old Tom Foolery. <laughs> Holly. Yes. What's up, Kathy? Holly. I'm here. Are you Hi. there? Hey, Holly. Uh, we know your voice, honey. Okay. Don't worry. Oh, she called you. Mm -hmm. Are you guys having tea? OK. Right. Have fun, guys. OK, so I just realized I should have invited you to Nia's premiere of her new video. I would love to. Oh, great. Maybe you and Kathy can come together. You guys are together? Yeah, well, no. She was rehearsing at the studio space that we're rehearsing at now. Oh. The oh, yeah. oh, oh, OK. We look forward to seeing you at the celebration and definitely at the dance competition. Okay. Thanks, Holly. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. We hate Kathy, and we tolerate Jeanette. She cares more about filling the room for Nia's premiere than what she should be focused on, and that's beat Kathy and beat Jeanette. Kalani, you're doing a solo. You're going to be pretty. You're going to be interesting. You're going to be so captivating, they can't take their eyes off of you. Understood? This is a big week for Kalani, because Ava beat her last time they went head to head. To be the judge of me. Fourth place, Kalani. And the third highest solo today, Ava. I know Kalani wants to make Abby happy, but I'm a little bit worried that Kalani isn't going to be prepared. This solo means a great deal to me. I need you to put Ava in her place. All right, you ready, Judy, to get started? Kalani is doing a solo entitled Bleeding Out. She's going to have cut pieces of glass, like shards of glass, in her skin with blood. Ooh, it's going to be so good. I can't wait. Like, like, blur. OK, wait, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, because you make a big mistake. I corrected the last time, and you never hurt me. Go back. This is, you're driving me crazy. This is just, time is flying. Hi, Mikey. Hi, Holly. How are you? I just sent you the link to the current edit of Star in Your Own Life. Take a look and okay. watch it in private because we don't want anyone to see it. Oh my gosh, I'm like so nervous, but really excited at the same time. You should be extremely excited. Love it. Okay, thank Thanks, you, Holly. Mikey. Bye bye. I'm so nervous. You are? I am because I wanted to work and I wanted to be terrific. And everything about that day was so positive the energy, the vibe. Nia was a different kid. I hope the vision that he had matches the song, and I'm sure it will, because he's so professional.
she kept saying she's nervous. Like, what would you be nervous about? I don't know Holly all that well, but from what I do know of her, she is very conservative. Very. And raised Nia to be the same way. I saw some of the photos from the video shoot online, and that video was completely well, different if I remember from correctly, her upbringing. She had a big problem with Nia portraying Shangela and doing all that. I remember it was always an issue. Why does Nia have to push the envelope? Why does she always have to be the one to go out on a limb? Kendall's music video suits her perfectly, and I have no doubts that people are going to love it. Now, Nia's I'm not so sure about. To be honest, at this point, I'm not sure we're even going to make the music premiere. We've got the competition and the convention to juggle, and Holly has been alienating herself from the team. I don't know. We'll see if we make it. Kendall's video is going to be great. Yeah. Oh, I'm... it'll be great in a different greatness. Right, it's going to be like wholesome and it sweet. It won't have and... the names behind it, the people, the lighting, the hairdresser, the makeup artist. But I don't know if she needed that to be that great. <laughs> that just makes me smile. I am beyond thrilled with Nia's video right now. I could shout it from the rooftops, but I know the moms accused me of bragging last week, and I don't want to cause any drama. So it, it's a little sad that I have to downplay it a bit, but I'm so excited for Nia. Yeah! Yeah! I love it. Kendall, you're lucky you're getting another solo after the tears. It's ridiculous. I don't care how bad you feel. I don't care what's going on. I don't care even who died. Wow, that's harsh. You're in the military, you're in the army. You're either gonna rise and you're gonna fall. And guess what? You fall again, that video never needs to come out. Kendall's piece this week is called Rise and Fall. It's based on her video. She rose to the occasion. She nailed the video. Now. It's time to not be in the shadow anymore. Tense, focus, like you're going into battle. Imagine that your video is going to the VMAs or to the Grammys. Get it, from the bay! Here's the thing. It's not finished. Abby has these high expectations. She's nervous. Focus. Fo uh, 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 uh. Do I think Kendall will be great? Yes. Can she beat Ava, who's probably been doing her solo since three months ago? No. It should be an even playing ground, but and it never, never, never ever is. It won't ever right. be. Right. And who gets hurt in the wrong run? The kids. Other hand. Oh, my god. So. We're going to get ready to work on your solo. So do you want to tell your team what it's about, what we decided? I think it's going to be called Hurtful Words. It's about all the things that Abby has not only said to me. Your kids' arms are horrendous. They're like she gargantuan. She looks like a praying mantis. Ava, you're too tall for us today. But what she said to all of the students that she's pretty much had, other than Maddie, I mean, she doesn't really. But she said something hurtful to them that has hurt them. and. Even about my body image and what people have been saying on, you know, social media about how skinny I am, and it really is just judging a book by its cover with the social media. Because if they would actually like see me in person, they would know that, right. like, I eat. <laughs> I've sat across the table from you. <laughs> so this is all about those hurtful words, and you'll hear in the music. There's like screeches, almost like your nails going across the chalkboard. And those are to be the words that she's trying to get rid of. And you'll see there's a point in the dance to where Ava comes and like takes them out of her head and throws them to the side of the stage and is done. Ava has dealt with so much with Abby, so she wanted to show that she's a strong person, that Abby's words will not hold her back, and that she will move on and succeed and let the world see it. John. Good job. Hey, everybody that happens to be here, I need your attention. Come on into Studio A. Come on, come on, come on. All right. Can I have your attention? 
attention, please. I want everyone here to know that I am opening a branch in Los Angeles. When I built this studio, my mom and dad took their savings and they bought the land, this land. I was 24 and these floors have held up. There's sweat in those walls of kids that are, have graced 17 different Broadway shows. Yeah. So I'm not leaving. I'm not closing. I'm not going anywhere. The Abby Lee Dance Company and this dance studio will remain here forever. So I think you need to look at it as a positive. The thing is, the opportunities are there. And if I don't strike while the iron is hot, it's never going to happen. So I have to go, and I have to do this and give it a shot. You know, and if I fail, I tried. So we all need to get back to class. This is so hard on everyone. This is hard on Abby, the girls, and the moms. It's sad to me. I mean, I love Pittsburgh. I don't honestly know how we're gonna get through this week, but we have to. The show must go on. We have a competition to attend, and the girls know what they have to do. does look pretty. Oh, that's fabulous. So, the headpiece. Thank you. I like the big hat. So are you going to go to Nia's um, premiere tomorrow? I have a teacher luncheon at Jump. And I, I just, I, I want to go. So I'm going to go there from 12.30 to 1, and then I'll Pop run over. over. Yes. OK. It won't be long, because the video's not long. I saw some pictures, and, I, and I'm going to say, I, I didn't comment on them. I didn't post them. I just was not thrilled with them, because I just don't see Nia that way. There's nothing inappropriate about it. Not the men in the underwear? Are they not in it? Were they just pictures? Nice dance with men in underwear. I mean, it's, it's booty it's shorts. Art. Booty shorts is the same thing. Underwear. I don't think you can compare Nia's video to C. I just said, is there's, what I'm saying. I was responding to the statement about men dancing in underwear. That's all I was responding to. It's the same thing. I see it different. How is Nia, it different? Because Nia doesn't have the name that Sia does. I'm not comparing because Nia and Sia. Because I think they're, Abby they're, was looking at not, the big picture uh, of no, a Sia no, video let's and not. a Nia video. It has nothing to do with Sia. I didn't bring Sia into it, because Sia wasn't dancing. I'm not going to talk about because it, it makes me look jealous or envious, and I'm not. All right, well, listen, I have to get back downstairs and look at these numbers, these solos in the group. Girls, I'm guessing that Abby's probably doing a contemporary or a lyrical routine. So we are doing a killer hip hop routine, tons of high energy, something to kind of wake the judges up from what they're usually seeing. We're representing Detroit. We're gonna run it full out, okay? Sometimes in routines, people go the easy route, and I did not feel that that was an option with what we were going up against. I need more. The turn has got to be nailed on every time. We've got a couple hours here. That's it. We have to bring it. Look at the audience. It's your face. Nice. Kendall is going up against Kalani, who was one of Abby's favorites, and Ava, who beat Kalani last time. There's a lot of pressure on Kendall right now, and I really hope that she can stay strong and say goodbye to Pittsburgh without any tears. I think people are harder on these kids because they expect more out of them. Really? Especially here in our backyard. The stakes are so high, and the pressure is so high. It's been a tough season so far for the two of us. We had to deal with a lot of shenanigans with Abby. How do you feel about the video? Knowing the experience, the day of the experience, how are you feeling about I seeing think it's it? It's going to be good. It looks amazing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like a 13 year old's video. It looks professional. And because it looks so strong, it looks so good, 
I think it has some people a little upset. You might hear things from other people, and for whatever reason why they're saying what they're saying, it's not about you. I think some people are already hating on my video. They didn't even see it yet. I know. Whatever. You can't let it bother you. to where she is right now. Mia may not be the star of the ALDC, but Mia's a star in her own life, and I think a lot of people can relate to that. I'm really proud of you, because you didn't give up, didn't have a pity party, we didn't complain and say, life's not fair. We took the situation into our hands, and we did something about it. That's a great defining moment for you and a lesson. Today's a really big day, and I really want the girls to come see my video. I know everyone's at jump, but I really hope they can come because this is my first video and it's really exciting. You all look fabulous out there. Thank you for being here. Jill's mom is watching our girls, so we ran over to watch Nia's video, but the girls, you know, had a prior commitment, so they can't come. Yeah. Is your husband here? Yeah. My husband is here, and the boys are here. And I think Abby said she might, but there's a teacher luncheon, so she may not be able to. So I don't know. Oh, I thought she said she was coming. I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. Is that your husband? Go, I think they're calling you. Go, 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 go. We'll just, we'll let them make an entrance and then we'll go in. Am I disappointed that the other girls on the team are not here to support Nia? Of course. But Kathy and Jeanette are here and I'm feeling a lot of love and positivity. It is time to introduce Dr. Holly and Nia. To be up among so many friends and family and loved ones and supporters of Nia to celebrate this incredible accomplishment. It is not every day that you are 13 years old and you are releasing a music video. To be so fortunate and blessed to have this experience where she has worked with an incredible team of people. I always tell Nia you can't have a test without a testimony. And her song is that testimony, but more importantly, it's her story. Hopefully, your singing career will be launched in a tremendous and really exciting way. At this point, I'm going to turn it over to Evan for us to watch the video. Let's watch the video. Jill and Melissa and Kira won't even stand next to me. I was glad that they were there. I was glad that they showed up. I got the sense that they didn't necessarily want to be there. I felt like it was an inconvenience. <laughs> you ready for this? Yes. All right. Oh my God, I'm so very glad you are here. I have no idea. You are a star in your own life. If life is a one way, walk it out. If life is a one way, walk it out.
He has worked so hard. And as a mother, I'm so proud. Not boastful, just proud. Thank you guys so much for coming. I really appreciate it. I have to give thanks to everybody who was involved. So Aubrey O'Day and Mikey Minden, my family, my mom, my dad, and my cousins, everybody. And I have to thank my dance teacher, Miss Abby, because oh, <laughs> reason why I'm dancing and if I wasn't dancing then I wouldn't be here. <laughs> All right since Nia had mentioned uh, Abby Lee Miller we want to give her an opportunity to come and see it. Sure, sure. I just take her my hug with Evan. <laughs> I look forward to my hugs with Evan. <laughs> I just want to congratulate Nia and her family for a job well done, amazing work, and I'm glad to see her dancing in there. Nia, I'm going to tell you something that I tell all of my students who are moving into the professional world. This is just the beginning. I'm really happy Abby came to support my video because at first it didn't seem like she was really happy about it, but her coming makes me feel really good. So. I hope that this is another step to move forward and forget the past. I thought the video was dynamic and slick. It was good, but I was a little disappointed. The video is based on her song, and the song is Star in Your Own Life. That didn't seem like Nia's own life. It seemed like somebody's contrived life that they want Nia to have. Thank you, guys. Another time for Nia. I specifically scheduled this event when there was a break in the convention. So why didn't everyone come? I don't know if they're mad, jealous, or what, but something is definitely going on. Holly, this last season was a bit rough. So give us an update. What's your relationship like with the moms now? I think my relationship with the moms have definitely, it's been tested. Their friendship has way too many conditions. You're my friend today, but if Abby's around, you're not my friend. I don't think our friendship will ever be the same again, and that's okay. I think their friendship and relationship with Abby is more important to them than their friendship or relationship to me. And what about Christy and Chloe? Chloe's back and forth in LA. Every time I turn around, she's in LA for something. We have not caught up while she's here, but she's doing well. She's involved in lots of different projects, but everyone's happy. We don't text or communicate often, but when we do, it's still heartfelt. It's still very genuine, it's very sincere. Our friendship was more than just a competition mm -hmm. team. Okay, so let's talk about Laquifa. Did you love it? Did you hate it? What did you think about the dance? You can't talk about dance moms and not mention Laquifa. Mm -hmm. And go, Laquifa, what? I mean, everyone. Everybody it, knows it now. Dance moms, Laquifa. They go hand in hand. Although I can't say I loved it at first, it actually turned out to be one of your Hallmark signature experiences and pieces. So for that, we got to give Abby some credit. Go. Nia is doing a character piece entitled Laquifa. It's sassy, it's snap, and hip, and head pop. Go. Nia is African American, and I'm trying to teach her different ethnic dances, and I'm trying to train her so that when she is in New York or LA, and the casting call says ethnic, she can do all of the dances correctly. I have costumes. All right, Nia, you're gonna put this on first, sweetie. The costume is darling. It's really like a satire on the drag queen image. And it's over the top, and it's fun, 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 and it's right up Nia's alley. Then put the pants and the crop top and everything else on after that. I loved my costume for Lucifa. I thought it was amazing. <laughs> Why is my daughter the only one dressed in animal print? Is this a joke? All the other girls get feminine, beautiful, whimsical costumes that aren't typecasting them. And you know what? I want her in an afro. Do you have one? 
from when we did My Hair Looks Fierce. I was like, let me just pull out my purse. No, I don't have an afro. <laughs> if not, Tanya Shopping Center. I just, I just changed purses. Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't have an afro. That's not the black experience that we know. And there's nothing wrong with Laquifa, the Laquifas of the world, but that's not Nia's experience. It is not my experience. My name is Holly. I'm as far away from Laquifa as you can get. Abby did that just to get on my mom's bad side. I, I know that. Abby found every single thing she would think I would, would find it offensive in that costume, the animal print. She knows I hate animal print. The fact that it was I did an afro. I still don't have an afro in my purse. <laughs> so some things have not changed. I think it's hard for people to understand why I objected so much to when Abby would typecast you for ethnic dance roles. Mm -hmm. If she's going to be an ethnic role, still let it be beautiful, but it wasn't didn't mm -hmm. have that same level of beauty or class mm -hmm. or elegance. Did you ever think growing up in Pittsburgh in this really small neighborhood that a drag queen would have so much influence on your life and Nia's life? I think we owe a lot to Shangela because Shangela taught you the, the death, death drop. drop. And the death drop, I think, is what people, when they think of Nia, they think of the death drop. And they always ask, how oh, you do it? <laughs> That's it. Can you teach me the death drop? I'm afraid to do it. I'm like, I'm afraid for Nia to do it too. Laquifa! I was speechless. It was quite a moment, and it was quite an entrance. Drag queens aren't like ethnic. Just saying, <laughs> Abby thought that, but whenever yeah, drag queens are not their own ethnicity. No, 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 no. no. This weekend, we were in Providence, Rhode Island, an hour outside of Boston. Some of the most prestigious dance studios in the country are there. Tough schools, tough competitors, and you really held your own. You won that victory cup. You killed it. I'm very proud. Excellent. I'm very proud of every one of you, and you know I don't say that too often. I'm also very proud that all the moms kept their mouths shut and didn't say anything to me. See how much nicer it is when everything goes so smoothly? It was wonderful. Now, if only the moms could learn to be team players like their daughters, then we'd be in business. I never saw such disorganization in all my life. Go back to your studio. I, you know what? I'm not. I'm here to stay. So like it. I don't. Okay. Neither does anybody else. Now, let's talk about this week's competition. We are going to what? It's at the Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. And it's a resort. It's all self-contained. We can't forget anything. So we will have a wardrobe for each day that they are going to be there, just like the old school days, yes? And you will pack here in front of me so that I know that you have everything. Let's talk about the board. First of all, everybody work together as a team. That teamwork is going to help you at nationals. That's what's going to put you over the top. Teamwork and technique. Those are the two things that we're going to concentrate on this week. Moms, we're doing another new number. <laughs> One more costume. This week's group number is entitled Make You Mine. It's a theatrical jazz routine. It's upbeat. It's fun. Classic jazz. This week, I'm going to ask you to work harder than you've ever worked before. We need to show up and walk in there like we own the place. And I will give you a path list for clothes for the trip. And I want them dressed a certain way every single day that we are there. Does everyone understand that? Yes? Moms, thank you very much. Ladies, let's get up. Let's go. Push through. Tighten the abs. Stronger arm. Stronger arm. Stronger arm. Pass in. Vivian McKenzie was still on the bottom of the board. Yeah, I, I didn't like that at all. Because they were in the team that won. I, I, Regardless of what oh, they did, they contributed. I didn't even think about and that. And I thought that that was really stinky. But they should have put the babies on the top. That's I mean, right. it should have been. I mean, it's like, God, don't ever give anybody just a little bit. That's why McKenzie doesn't want to dance anymore. She's like, it's always all about all the other girls. And, you know. Ribs are open, derriere's out. Tighten it. 
And I just hope that you guys are prepared with a costume and that you guys stop sharing costumes. Because, yeah, there is so much of teamwork, but it's ridiculous when you're looking at a six-year-old and you're 13 to cram into her costume. No offense to you, because you were only doing what she told you to do, but I paid for the costume and I didn't like it. So I think that for now, it's over and done with and we need to move forward. Kathy is acting like a bitch and she was way out of line whenever she came up to me three numbers before Brooke went on stage and took her costume off of her body. But my advice as a dance teacher, you moms need to step up and make sure that she's on top of things with your costumes. Vivi's very young and you're new, so you're kind of still in that honeymoon period, so she may not take it out, but give her give her some time, then she'll start taking out her frustrations on you, on your daughter. Well, all I'm gonna do is flash her a couple of dead presidents. Hopefully that'll work. <laughs> that'll settle her. That'll, that'll, settle settle her. Blood that'll pressure settle her right down. down. Right now, some dead presidents. That'll help her. All right, now remember, you're an angel, so you need to be pretty and beautiful with beautiful feet, not Fred Flintstone flat feet. Got it? Maddie is doing a breathtakingly gorgeous lyrical routine. It's entitled Angel, and she wears a stunning white costume. and I hope that she is proud and I know that she is watching me from heaven. You know that song, Angels, from my mom? I know, was telling me. She's so excited about it. My mom was diagnosed with cancer when I was really young and my mom meant the world to me. Her and I were close, just like Maddie and I are. The other day I was a little freaked out because like I smelled her and it was like, it was so weird. You know, I look at her picture every day when I get my coffee and you know, I have her little handwriting on my cabinet, you know. And I, I don't know, I just miss her so much. I can't stand it. Like, I mean, do you think like I would pick up a phone and call them and you're like... I still do it. I sometimes say, oh, I have to tell my mom about this, you know, and then I'm like, I should go there. I can't imagine not having a parent. Oh, I, I mean, I have nobody. When I look at Maddie, I see my mom, because my mom had the blue eyes that Maddie has. And I always say to her, my mom gave me you. When she left me, she gave me you. Chug, 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 and you're moving forward a little bit, but more hips, big, go. Mia is doing a character piece entitled La Quifa. It's sassy, it's snap, and hip, and head pop. Go. See how you're like gonna fall when you finish? I don't wanna see that. Do it again. Push! Staggering again, come on. Nia is African American, and I'm trying to teach her different ethnic dances, and I'm trying to train her so that when she is in New York or LA, and the casting call says ethnic, she can do all of the dances correctly. Your abdominal muscles, engage them. Now march in your own circle, nose up in the air. Go, one, two, three, four. You're gonna swing this down five and fan kick big, four starch flex seven and eight. Good. Before I start another solo, and before I start yelling about your feet and your legs being sloppy, this is the difference between winning an overall. This is the difference between winning a title, right here, the technique. Explain that word to me. We use it all the time. What does technique mean? I think it means that you, um, I really don't know. You really don't know. And how many times have you heard it in dance? A thousand times. A thousand times. If you were reading a book and they used a word a thousand times and you didn't understand it, wouldn't you go look up the word? Yeah. Abby pushes me really hard, but I don't mind because it makes me a better dancer. Go head out on the floor. Let me see your best jump. I know you're teaching until 7.30, but I just wanted to warn you, Dawn Check is here to talk to you. She should be here to pay her bill. 
she wanted it? to speak to you, so. Okay, I'll be out in a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> Minister Dawn, she has a lot of nerve showing up at my dance studio after what she pulled the last time she was here. I mean, I can't believe that she has the gall to show her face after the police hauled her out of here. Every week we put the trash out. Go. Then take your stout block and get the biggest piece of trash for it. Yeah, I have your phone. Call the police. Go for it. I'm sorry. Go for it. There's a psycho in every batch. A psycho? Yes. Her name's Abigail Miller. Hi. Uh, I need it, please. You gotta go. Take your daughter somewhere else, then, if you don't like the dance company here. This time I'm prepared. I have 911 on speed dial. Seven and eight. I know you're teaching till 7.30, but I just wanted to warn you. Um, Dawn Check is here to talk to you. She should be here to pay her bill. Go somewhere else. Take your money. Take your kid. Take your socks. Find another school. I Why are you right? It's my building. Why my name is on the front. So of what? What oh, choice I made for it? Hi. Uh, I need an, uh, please. So I have an, uh, an apparent that's out of control. Have a seat. I just thought it'd be better if we spoke in person. I am busy, 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 busy. Okay. You never paid for the rest of your solo. Yeah, I think you yeah I'm not going to do that. Okay, well, it needs to be paid. This is your contract. I understand, this is, but this the contract is... was was broken. No. Um, when you throw me out and tell me to get out and not come back, no. that makes it broken. No, it doesn't. You broke the contract. I don't owe you anything. I'm seeing court. Believe me, Dawn, I've done it before. And you're going to have the court costs. You're going to have my time in there. Unless I win, and then, then what How happens? would you win? Your daughter wore a costume took a picture in it, and you're claiming that you don't need to pay for it? That's called theft by deception. You can use all the words you want to use. I will. But it's a breach of contract. Okay, it's time for you to go. Well, right. Have a nice day. That minister, Dawn, needs a Bible refresher course. Thou shall not lie, thou shall not steal, and thou shall not disrespect God. OK, lady. This is your pack list for the competition. Now, I didn't get into too much detail since you guys go away all the time. When we go to a competition, everyone involved is representing me, Abby Lee Miller. So I want my girls to look professional, and I want the moms to look professional too. Kathy, the reason we do this is so it's easy for me to find the kids. When I'm traveling with children and I need to get them quickly, I want to take a photo, somebody shows up, and then they all look good for my program book. I'm all about themes. But these little themed outfits are just for the children. And oh, no, 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 no. They're for everyone attending. Hold the phone for just a moment, because we've already went shopping, and we've bought some fabulous clothes. And I'm seeing here black and white nighttime. And I'm going to assume that you're talking about banquets. And I have a fabulous fuchsia formal that I'm going to be wearing. And she has green. I'm sorry I can't follow Abby's rules. When Candy Apples steps out, we do it in style. We don't dress like the help. You do remember that I am not the team player, and we will be packing at home. And what we pack is what we're bringing. This may not do be totally not make conducive. Your child an outcast. Oh, we would love for Vivi to blend. Yes. But the reason why we're here is to stand out. I like to say that I'm smarter than the average bear, and I like to pull the rug out from underneath them and take their focus away from what's going on so that I get my way. All right, everybody understands? Yes, mothers, I have your word. Kathy? Oh, well, I'll have to think about it. Vivi, mm -hmm. you know what I found out? At Star Power, they have a costume award, and you have to put your photo in. So I think that we're going to enter your pink costume. At Star Power, they have a photogenic award. I would love for Vivi to be able to have the opportunity to model in a costume book, because that's what I did when I was little. And it was a great experience, very exciting. And I think it would be wonderful to know that her picture was going all over the country. You know what else, too, Vivi? Mm -hmm. There will probably be a lot of photographers there. Okay. It would be like you're the glamour girl, OK? 
That'd be fun. Maybe mommy can get in a couple shots. Yeah. My mom wants me to be famous. I don't want to be a model. All right, girls, the new number that we're going to do for this competition is called Make You Mine. Everybody say that. Make, make, you, make mine. you Mine. I want you to go out, and I want you to get the older girls' black chairs. This week's group number is entitled Make You Mine. And we used the chairs because the kids had done a Fosse number, and they were familiar with working on the chairs. It's high energy, and the kids love the number. They get to dance like teenagers, so they love it. Slip my lace on, put on the makeup. One, two, shoes on three, four, shut roll. It's so frustrating to watch Nia dance. She makes the same mistakes over and over again. Pop up! I want it strong! This is the third time! In 20 minutes, I'm telling you the same thing. I don't know what I'm gonna do about Nia. If she doesn't step it up, she's gonna blow it for the rest of the girls in the group. You're the last one, and it was 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 50%. One more time, do it. One, two, three, four, five. It's still not sharp enough. It has to come up. Watch it when the next group does it. Ready, let's go. So we can get it on. I'm gonna make you mine. I try to do everything right, but sometimes it's too hard. Five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, three. I have costumes! <laughs> All right, Nia, you're gonna put this on first, sweetie. The costume is darling. It's really like a satire on the drag queen image. And it's over the top, and it's fun, 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 and it's right up Nia's alley. Then put the pants and the crop top and everything else on after that. I loved my costume for Lakifa. I thought it was amazing. <laughs> Chloe, this is you. Again, it's not what I drew. I should have sent the fabric. Hello. Hey. Sorry. Hi. Hi. I arrived just in time for costumes, and it's always interesting to see what Abby will pull out of her bag of tricks. Girls, Brooke. Oh, we're not too bad. Oh my gosh, you're a lot bigger than we think. OK, I know it's oh, all right. Oh, 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 you know what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Was it hard to get in? Why is my daughter the only one dressed in animal print? Is this a joke? Can we walk down there, sweetie, and let me see you? All the other girls get feminine, beautiful, whimsical costumes that aren't typecasting them. And you know what? I want her in an afro. Do you have one from when we did My Hair Looks Fierce? I was like, let me just pull out my purse. No, I don't have an afro. <laughs> if not, Panyo Shopping Center. <laughs> I, just, I just changed purses. Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't have an afro. That's not the black experience that we know. And there's nothing wrong with Laquifa, the Laquifas of the world, but that's not Nia's experience. It is not my experience. My name is Holly. I'm as far away from Laquifa as you can get. <laughs> that is not who I am, and that is not who Nia is. Turn around. Yeah. Holly wants her daughter to be like every other little girl. Nia has an advantage over everybody else. She can play many different ethnicities. And it's my job to make her capitalize those opportunities. Different is good. She has what it takes. And yet, her mom wants her to be like Paige and Maddie and Chloe. This is show business. When they're looking for somebody different, they're going to love Nia. I think this could get a little higher. I never drink, but after having to buy an afro and seeing that leopard costume, I've about had. What I took objection to was just about the whole Aquifa number. I never have denied my black heritage. I'm very proud of it, but it has to, I don't want to be as stereotypical in the 70s wearing yeah. an afro. We're in the 21st century. 
I think Holly's being a little over dramatic. Her daughter's wearing an Afro wig. What's the big deal? She's been having picking cotton. Might and as well wear a scarf on her head and be on Shamima. I don't want that. Did you just say picking cotton? Well, that's what it's like. Oh. It's the same type of thing. Swing low, swing chariot, and just let's pick some cotton or something. We have worked so like, hard to get beyond that. For me, it's very political. Politics is all about who has the power and who has the control. I don't have the power to choose Nia's music. Abby gets to choose that. And Abby has the control and the power in depicting how she wants Nia portrayed. So I'm really frustrated at my, the end of my rope. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hang in there much longer. Bus driver! Are you kidding this way? You're throwing everybody around back here. We're heading to the Star Power Competition in Connecticut, and this is going to be tough. The judges are going to be looking for technique, of course, showmanship, costuming, and passion. So when the dancers step out there, they're truly passionate about their craft and what they're doing. Mackenzie? Here. Maddie? Here. Kathy's too good for us. She gets to ride in the Mercedes while we're on the bus. Who does she think she is? We all know it's a C-class. Somebody at the wig shop thought I was crazy checking an afro for a 10-year-old girl. Oh, you ended up getting one? I found one. Is it blonde? <laughs> that, would been, that would have been good. We have lots of wigs I would like to choose from for Nia. I would never select an afro wig. I would like for Nia to be beautiful and not stereotyped as someone with an afro from the 70s. Oh, my God. with a bunch of kids just doesn't work. So here we are at Star Power, and this is a big competition for us. Our girls need to do really well. Moms, they're running 30 minutes ahead. So get the makeup on as quickly as possible so that we have time to run this number. That's more important. Maddie, how's that, how's that feel? Does it feel good? Not really. Do you have to go to the bathroom? Maddie has to go to the bathroom. You have to no. no. Maddie, you. listen to me. You have to go. cooperate go. with me. We had 30 minutes to get our kids ready. They had to be stretched. We had to put French twists in their hair, fake eyelashes, all their makeup. It was crazy. Maddie, you have one number to dance, and that's it. You're going to deal with it. Be a grown up. Sick of this attitude. I can't deal with Maddie's attitude. She's eight years old, and she, sometimes she thinks she's 16. Maddie, I'm not to look for that. you need earrings first. No. Maddie, calm down, please. I'm a perfectionist. I don't like to be rushed when I'm doing my makeup and hair. Guess what? Do you want to go home? You're never like this. Stop it. Melissa's always freaking out on Maddie before the competitions. I feel bad for Maddie. Maddie, go do some turns and see if that hair moves, please. What was that about? What was that? Melissa is always on time, always prepared, always where she needs to be. And when that doesn't happen exactly as she planned, then she gets worked up, and that in turn works up her daughters. Girls, shh, stop. There are 1,500 numbers, OK? You're the first thing they're going to see from Abby Lee Miller. Do you understand how important it is? Be respectful backstage when you come off the stage. I don't care if it was good, bad, or otherwise. You act like it was the best time you ever danced. Do you understand me? This is what we've been working for all season. Today is what matters. Right now in 10 minutes. Do you understand? Every single competition is really important to us because each competition is one step closer to nationals. Please help me welcome me. You mind. Twenty-eight. 
to knock your socks off so we can get it on i'm gonna make you mine i'm gonna make you missed a big lease on. I corrected her over and over and she still did it wrong. No excuses. During the Make You Mine performance, Nia was a little off. I just hope Abby's not too hard on her. Maddie's really upset right now. The group just performed, and she doesn't feel that they to the best of their ability. Girls, I'm talking to you right now because I'm disappointed. And why were you crying? I got hurt a little. You got hurt a little? What happened? I jumped off my chair. I twisted my ankle. OK. Maddie was upset because Nia did not do well. But she told Abby she was upset because she twisted her ankle. Nobody knows the dance. He should go to the bathroom. Does that say registration? Yeah. Um, I am inquiring about the photogenic award. I entered Vivi in a photogenic contest. We haven't had the opportunity to do the costume catalog thing yet. Now I got a mess going on here. I thought that this would be a good start to maybe start to pursue something like that. Incline your head. OK, you're, you're going to have All right, I won't touch you then. I feel like the eyelashes are drooping. Do I need to staple your eyebrows up? Don't look scared. Don't don't look like somebody's goosing you. I'm feeling like you're a, a bum model. Come on. Look alive. Look at me and smile. Big smile. Big, big, big. Get it. Click. Smile. Ugh. You're just going to look over your shoulder. She should have her hands down. Look at me and smile. OK. OK, that's cute. Don't change your face. Freeze your face. You look like a pug. Now she's running the show. I went in with the attitude that I was going to do all of the posing for Vivian, and Vivi just took off. She just went off on her own. Big smile. I was amazed because she really started to perform, and she was doing cute little poses, and she was coming up with ideas all on her own. Whatever you want to do. Just do whatever what you feel like. I've, I've just been fired. <laughs> It's very important that the girls win for their group numbers. They win all the time for their solos. That's easy. It's much more difficult to do a group routine. Everybody has to be in sync. Timing issues, spatial awareness, everybody on the same count at the same time. When your group wins, you've won. Only four tenths of a point separate first from third. Third place is Gratitude, number 124. Your second place world champion today is Make You Mine, number 128. Name your studio and who's the choreographer? Abby Lee Dance Company. Our girls definitely deserved first place. We were totally shocked. Pacha would have been so proud of you. You know, her and I were close like you and I, except we didn't fight like you and I fight. Because <laughs> you're too much of a perfectionist. But she meant so much to me. She was my best friend like you and I are. That's why you remind me so much of her. She loved angels, you know. And when she died, I took her hat. You know, the angels that we always put on, but this is the special, most special angel. This was her favorite little angel. So let's pin it on you, okay?
My mom wore this pin on her hat every day when she had cancer, and she would have loved to see my kids dance the way they dance. And giving this pin to my daughter means the world to me. Do you know whenever you go on stage, I always pray for her to be on stage with you? I totally believe that my mom is always with my daughter when she's on stage, always. Do really good today, OK? And think of her when you're on stage. She'll be there with you. <laughs> I love you so much. I'm doing this dance, Angel, for my grandmother, Bobcha, and I hope she is proud, and I know that she is watching me from heaven. You are the sky, the moon and night. You are my life, a shining light. These things I've learned are never-ending stories we will tell. You don't know what a song you sing. You don't know how much joy you bring. You are my angel, angel, asleep inside your halo, halo. I'm right beside you. I never get tired of watching Maddie dance. She always brings tears to my eyes. Maddie did her solo so wonderful today. I'm so proud of her, and Bopcha would be proud of her too. All right, my, my thing's all. <laughs> Look at my sewing! Look! It's like all. <laughs> oh, it's because I'm rushed. Look, this actually says for the style, 70s party afro. So I've seen the woman at the store. Is that for you? It's offensive that Abby asked me to go out and buy an afro wig. Why is she asking me? I think it's very stereotypical. Why she's always depicting this Afro-American looking you know thing that... I know. Yeah. And these and more why, than And why the wig? Nia's solos have appeared to be going in a particular direction. The solo that she's now doing, she's got an Afro wig on, and she's portraying Latifa, Laquifa, somebody. And I just, I feel bad. There's so many cute things that she could do, you know? I know. It's almost starting to be not politically correct. Holly is a little hysterical over this, I think. I think that this is starting to really play and wear on Holly. Don't you let that affect you, because you know what? You are going to go out and just smash it. Right. See? See, you're going to kill it. You could be one of my dancers. I think Mia does get typed with her numbers, but everybody does. Brooke has done an acrobatic routine since she was six years old. She's never been given anything else. And there's many other things Brooke could do. Like, Brooke could do a lyrical number, but Abby just doesn't give it to her, because she's typed as an acro. I felt that was put in an awful situation. I don't want to pull her from a dance. She's worked hard. She deserves to be in that dance. At the same time, I don't feel comfortable with her being on stage dressed that way. All of the girls are either doing a solo or a duet here at Star Power this week. So they need to make sure the technique is in check, the legs are straight, the feet are pointed, and they bring their own personality to the routine. If you would please put your hands together as they go for some boy.
three. Vivian. I entered Vivi in the Miss Photogenic Contest, and we took some fabulous pictures. I just hope that those judges know what they're doing and that they pick the right girl, and it's Vivi, of course. It's too much like she's on stage instead of just taking a photo right. of her it's beauty. It's cute. No, it's cute. It is cute, but she's about to go to musical theater. I absolutely think she's got on some, like, stage makeup. Yes, she does. It's yeah. totally about to go on. And I think that's, like, reinforced eyebrows and eyelashes, as a matter of fact. And it's kind of blurry. Yeah, it's actually not the most the best quality picture either. She's got a costume on, unless, of course, she wears sequins on a daily basis. And it's not Which centered. I do, but that's okay. I know you do. Yes. Mm. Um, it's not centered. Not good lighting. Not a photo. Okay, this yeah. is a no? Yeah, not today. No. Okay, great. Moving on. The title of Petite Miss, here is the Mohican Sun. Maddie. Congratulations to you, Maddie. Maddie has six crowns now, and her goal is to make it to the double digits. you were doing. The photogenic award was nestled in between all of the other awards. I have no idea how many kids were in the contest. They did give three places out, and Vivi was not awarded any of those three places. I'm going to tell you what, that photographer, no wonder he's working at competitions, because he's no professional. You, you don't even look like you're smiling. I should have had red lipstick on you. The photographer was a goof. Despite how bad he was, the judges should have seen the potential in Vivi. These are horrendous. I mean, no, okay. you're beautiful. Mm -hmm. But these pictures, I don't understand what the guy was doing. Mia is doing a character piece entitled La Guifa. I need Mia to know the ethnic dances. Those dances come from a heritage, and they have to be done correctly. I'm really apprehensive about this dance. I don't like the song. I don't like the costume. I don't like the theme. Come on, it's called Laquifa. my tongue long enough, and I'm tired of this. It is time for me to be direct and have a heart-to-heart -heart with Abby now. It's still really unnerving for me that she's wearing a wig. It's 2011, and she's wearing a 70s Afro wig. It's the whole idea of an Afro. It just seems so stereotypical. It is stereotypical, absolutely. But just like she's a token black kid. Like I wouldn't use the word token. I would use the word. Affluent and special, and she doesn't come across listen, that way. Asmaret is not going to school for four years for free on the Martin Luther King Scholarship because she's white. If I send her to an audition, it's going to be an ethnic call. Nobody else is going to get to go but her. When they want to hire an African American kid, they hire an African American kid. But when I'm thinking of, I'm looking at Nia. All of her routines, it seems, is like a jungle theme. There's 
of Satan theme. It's like there's a little undertone, a nuance that is like a little bit of a negativity that I would just like something that's a little bit more celebratory. Well, then you pick the music and you hire the choreographer and she can do the number. Abby, we don't have to go there. All I'm trying to do is. No, I'm we not. Don't have a problem. What Abby. I'm giving her works for her movements, for what she does well. Okay. She doesn't have good feet. She doesn't have great turnout. She doesn't straighten her knees. She sway back. I'm telling you, very nicely, pick the music. Pick the choreographer. I mean, come on. Nobody, not but not one kid pays me 30 grand a year. And if you do, I will be a lot nicer and I'll sit down and we can have a big conference about it. Well, you know what? But for 250 bucks a month, go somewhere oh, else. That's the way it is. I don't pay $250 a month. That's a first. To me, you do. No, I don't. Look how I dress, look where I live, look what I pay. I pay, what, almost $100,000 a year in private school tuition? And you're telling me I can't afford you? I did not say that. I Pretty said, much I did. no, I did not. And you have my kid dressed up in an afro? Let's not go there. I did not say that. I am I said my that if every is, customer paid me $30,000 a year, okay. that think, I would be glad to sit down and have a conference with you. Think closely about your words. Holly comes from a world of books. She doesn't come from my world. I am trying to give her daughter more opportunities. Nia could go in for any ethnic role and nail it, but she needs to have the dance background. And Holly keeps fighting it on me. And I'm telling you this with all sincerity, there's a lot of teachers out there. If you're not happy, look through the yellow pages. I am fed up with Abby. Abby needs to learn that my daughter's a dancer first. She's not an ethnicity first.